Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. We are back at Graveyard Keeper, nearing the end of the game. Mostly just have DLC stuff left to do, so we're gonna hunt some vampires and probably some other stuff. How do the one? How you doing? Some kitties, kitties, chill. Stop stepping on my stuff. Dad. So when we were last here. We did the last of the missions to get the six objects that we need to open the witch portal. So we have most of them in here. Uh, I do believe we have a spare buckle and clay shards and rare dagger, I do believe. And the medallion, that's not there, that's there, okay. So yeah, the medallion is just the key to open up the lower levels of the dungeon, which we finished. That can go in there. Aristocrat papers can go in there. Uh, so yeah, we got we got stuff to do. Oh, it is it is Moon Day. It is Moon Day. We need to go talk to a man about his stuff. So let's uh, let's go do that right away. Uh, right, right. He's spending quality time with his newly found daughter. So we're not gonna be able to talk to him today. We have to wait a week. Forgot about that. Uh, in that case, then, we're not going to go talk to a man about his stuff. We're going to go check out the, uh, the tavern, see how we're doing. We're doing okay. Half a, half a gold, not bad. <laughs> Buy the lighthouse and then steer ships to their doom. Um, so, Pine, two, th two answers to that question. Uh, the first answer being yes, because you can buy a teleport stone uh, that can take you to these places and then I've also installed a mod that will uh, teleport you to several other key locations uh, with a fee so it costs me quite a pretty penny to do those extra teleports I mean that's not a that's not a bad scheme Demos steer the ships to their doom and then you know exactly where they went down so you can go plunder the wreckages I mean, not not a bad plan. Eva. Yeah, no, that. All right, so we have three objects that were requested by Mr. Skull here to find out more history about this town and its inhabitants. So let's do that. It's going to be a lot of reading. But we're going to do it, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time for not having any of the voices, because I don't remember which ones were which. I'll try, but I make no promises. We have a kitty. We have a kitty. He's trying to step on my stuff. Make up new ones. I'm going to try. I have a hard time making up voices. I really do. I end up falling back to the same handful. There are no mounts in Graveyard Keeper, no. Um, amazingly enough, you get a donkey that brings you dead bodies every once in a while, but you can't ride him. There's no mounts. There's there's teleports and there's walking. And there's not even fast walking. <laughs> Fine, I'll do the voices. Alright. Alright, so. Um, oh, do, do I not have to bring him the, the dagger? Okay, I thought the dagger was one of them. I could be wrong. I know we had to go find it, and he said I get to keep it. Maybe I can bring him back to him. Maybe that's the thing. Gizmo. If you see my camera wiggling, that's because Gizmo's rubbing his face all over. Stop it. Stop. More, sh more shooty shooty plane missions? Nice. All right, either way, belt buckle. That logger is an eccentric guy, wouldn't you say? Well, he's much more normal than the beekeeper. Haha, <laughs> the famous bee lover. Two years later. From what? I don't remember, but two years later. Oh, yes. The Holy One. Where's the master? Even Chain never kept me waiting this long, Kresvold. Uh, 
Maybe he's sick? What kind of sickness do messiahs usually get? Where's the master? Hey guys, I don't get it. We're waiting for someone? Shut up, Fred! Citizens, unbearable sadness has befallen us. Our master is dead. Oh no, please, how can this be? Master! You guys, I don't get it. Who's dead? Shut up, Fred! Alas, the priests of ancient god have killed him. Yes, but do not despair, for he is with, he is with us still. His pure soul ascends into heavens, and now he has become our new god. The new god! Yay! Fred? Okay. With his dying breath, he declared Jove his viceroy and your king. As for me, I'm his, er, his pontiff. Yes, pontiff. Lucius. The new god, the king. Somebody pinch me. But as we are democratic monarchy here, it is you, my subjects, who must choose. We will, we will forgive those pagans who killed our father, our teacher, or will we, our beloved master? Gizmo, get down, get, get down. No forgiveness, never. <laughs> Gizmo, stop it. <laughs> Hey guys, I got it. Let's kill them all. Shut up, Fred. Let it be so. I obey your will, my beloved subjects. So I, King Jove, declare a holy war. Right. So they opened the portal, which is a portal to another dimension, and they brought in a hipster who was hailed as the Messiah. <laughs> I was the master. The master who's returned to avenge himself upon those pagans. I, I doubt it. They said he became the new god. And the master was kind, wise, and he didn't drink a lot. Yes, but okay, you're, you're right again. So we're also attempting to discover the skull's identity through these flashbacks. And uh, no luck yet. He keeps thinking he's one of the better characters, but uh, he is probably not one of the better characters. Uh, he's probably Fred, honestly. The guy who didn't know what the hell was going on. Uh, but yes, so we tra we're, we're traveling back in time to view what was happening. We found some interesting characters living their past lives. Um, those interesting characters living their past lives decided to form a rebellion of some kind, not believing the ancient god, and uh, open the portal to what was essentially my character's dimension, which is modern times, and they brought back a, a hippie slash hipster who was preaching peace and whatnot, and uh, he probably got murdered by the, the Romans or whoever they are, and, uh, and now they're attempting to take over. Delightful. Here's some clay shards, I'm sure they're useful. They're just shards of clay. They must have been easy to get, right? You know what? I don't I don't want to discuss it. <laughs> they were not easy to get. Well well, alright. This place died horribly. Hooray! Yay, good burning! That thing burned down epic. Well done. A whole minute faster than the chapel. Like they say, any fool can put out a fire, but starting one is a real art. Onward, men, in the name of King Jove and the new god. For the new god! So this is now the, uh, the drunken, whatchamacallit, the tavern. Because I recognize those pools. Aren't you coming, Herodric? Hmm, you're looking rather pale. Maybe it's because we burned down the village and uh, slit 200 throats? Chained. What am I gonna do? What, what am I gonna tell her? How can I look into her eyes again? Oh, brother. You're having a meltdown. We both promised to serve the master. It's his will. And a good soldier follows orders. But 
Kresvold, what if she's already been captured? Come on, the cowardly priestess would, the, would be the first to escape the swamps. Anyway, let's get moving. If nothing else, we'll need to find you a new chick. <laughs> wow, Kresvold. Wow, Kresvold. That shouting, is that Diggis? Dad, Dad! Listen, that portal. To activate it, we'll need to assemble seven people with six keys, right? I knew about that. I even told it to my friend, the Keeper. Uh, that's strange. How could you have known about it? Good question. I wanted to help him get home, and... I can't remember anything after that. Well, okay. Tell me about the next artifact. First one is the Amulet of the Ancient God. You should ask the Lighthouse Keeper about it. Or you can go dig up some ancient shackles. They're somewhere between the graveyard and the swamp. Out of kinder. You know what? I called them Dingus the first time and people gave me grief about it. <laughs> I am curious about Dingus and his, his fate. Because I do believe I know who he is, but I don't know for sure. Alright, so we can't go to the Lighthouse Keeper guy until tomorrow. Um, somewhere between here and the swamp, he said? Yeah, graveyard and swamp. So let's go home. Just leaving the bodies lying all over the place. Alright, somewhere between the graveyard and the swamp. So we're going towards the swamp. No, yeah, it's right there. Right there. Oh, never mind. There's several. Never mind. It's right there. <laughs> All right, we'll dig up the rest of them anyway. Obsidian. Uh, never gotten one of those before. All right. Uh, reading a new book? What, what, uh, what new book? House of Leaves. Have not heard of it. What's about? Any more places to dig up? Like a no. Alright. Let's go research this obsidian doodad. Can be decomposed into nothing. But I did get researched obsidian, and my god, that's worth a lot of blue. Alright, I also have more things to research. I can research my sword. Study fish. Lovely. All right. So I have this obsidian. I also have research obsidian. Uh, crafted at study table. All right. That's not. That's not study table. Um, this is study table. Okay. So what does this do for me?
I have no clue. All right. Another mystery to solve. And this rare dagger I know nothing about. Uh, we can always try to return it to Kresvold. He's the one who sent me out to find it. But let's go finish dumping my stuff. Oh, never mind. We'll, we'll do a sermon right away so I don't forget. How many candles? I have a couple candles. Meh. Do I, have, do I have any incense? I have no incense. Okay. Well, I have two incense. Okay. You know what? No, I'm not going to worry about it. Sermon time! Sermon time! Seems excessively layered, but uh, interesting premise. Gila, hi. Hi. I think the closest I've heard of something similar to that is um, one of the Laundry Files later books. One of the later ones that uh, goes branches off from the main characters. Um, this interesting experience that they had inside of a kind of a similar style house. It was definitely fascinating to read. All right, I was putting away that. So we're on Sunday, nothing overly remarkable happening today. I do not know what's, what to do with the obsidian. Might keep that on me in case uh, in case it suddenly becomes important. Uh, let's see, where's my clay? Where's my clay? Where's my clay? Uh, anything else I should dump? No. Okay, so we're gonna go back to town. And let's see if Kreswold wants his dagger back. So now I'm remembering about the dagger. I had grabbed the first dagger. There was like two of them. I grabbed the first one from who knows where. And I gave it to the skull. We got our backstory off of it. And then we found out there was a second one. So we went to Kreswold and he's like, hey, you should go find it. I dumped it in the woods somewhere. Um, nope. And he said he can keep it. But I don't know why we can keep it, because it doesn't appear to do anything. At least not yet. Uh, so this is the dead horse. The place that got burnt down. Alright, uh, and then I also need to go back to the tavern. And put these things up in the, up in the display shelf. Because they make my tavern prettier. No, lady. Lady, quit it. There we go. There we go. Oh, it goes real deep then. All right. Well, hopefully you're not spoiling stuff in case I want to read it. All right, so Lighthouse Guy. Let's go, th uh, let's go talk to Lighthouse Guy quickly. Hello, sir. I would like your amulet, please. Listen, did you happen to see an a loud and obese woman in the tavern asking about me? Uh, no. Some kind of problem? That's my former wife, an awful woman. She accuses me of robbing her. But it was only fair compensation for a great many spoiled years of my life. A bit of linen, some dishes, a picture, this amulet, our savings. 
Uh, is it the amulet of the ancient god by chance? Can I have it? I'm sorry, but I can't. It's simply too important for me. It reminds me of that happy day I won freedom. Damn, I'll have to ask Snake to steal it. Oh, now I gotta talk to Snake. Wow, this guy is a horrible person. Instead of instead of trying to buy it or you know barter for it or try again, his thought immediately goes to let's go to the worst person in town and ask him to steal it for me. I mean, that's possible, Pine. That's very possible. Hey, sir. Stibby. Stibby. Sir, did I do shit? Wow, I just realized that that is not very visible from here. That, right there. There's this tiny little speck of green right, up next, right next to my head. Very not visible. Alright, uh, so let's see. We need to talk to Snake. Uh, Snake's day isn't until Green Day, the opposite side of the week. Oh, we can talk to Digus. Hello, sir. Do you have anything fancy to tell me? No, no, you do not. Okay. I kind of enjoy your enjoy your lurking. Do any of you people have anything fancy to say? Oh, there's no one left. And you, sir. Isn't isn't he a guy I've been like needing to talk to for quite some time? Doesn't he come into the story at some point? Oh, uh, that little green thing up there, I just put that up there in the last uh, week or so. Kind of forgot I did it until I turned around and it was gone. Alright, uh, I guess we gotta, I guess we gotta wait. We gotta wait for stuff. Let's have a sleep. Howdy night, welcome. I'm wearing my shirt today. Boys. Boys. <laughs> Boys. Kitty. Stab it. <laughs> Get butt. Get butt. Kitty. Stab. Calm yourself. Hi. How are you doing? Calm down though. And you, sir, stop stop yelling at me. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I I have uh I have gotten used to catching cats midair. Alright. So you want to save? We're doing a save. Another save. And done. Alright. So let's take a quick peek at the missions again. Just in case there's anything I'm missing. Still waiting for Moon Day to talk to the astrologer about the vampire. Gotta talk to Snake on Green Day about the amulet. More vampire work. Lighthouse amulet thing. And then we gotta do some healing sessions with Yurik. Okay. So, uh, I... Oh, I forgot about the healing session thing. I should have gone to talk to the bishop. 
I was supposed to do that yesterday. Now I gotta wait for a while. I know nothing of the vampire. Apparently he's terrorizing people and sucking blood in the middle of the night, and I've ignored it for, like, months at this point. Um... You know, let's take a look at Tavern uh, and see if Lady has anything to say to me. No, she does not. How about you? This lady doesn't even talk to me. I'm moderately sure that this is the farmer's daughter. Um, because Miss Chain... Charm. Miss Charm asked me to go talk to the farmer to get permission for his daughter to accompany her to the town for some sort of event because she's great at playing a fiddle or something. Um, and this girl does pull out some sort of stringed instrument regularly. So this might be the actual farmer's daughter that we never get to talk to. Um, she's just kind of always there with her. I'm, su I'm assuming that they are the, the best of roommates, the closest of friends. And nothing more, absolutely not. All right. Uh, so now we're now we're waiting for time to pass. So let's do let's do time passing. So my grave is my graveyard is still not the bestest, but it's pretty good. Uh, certainly has done me well for making money. I've got fifty gold. I've got no problems there. Nothing citizen-wise, rightful citizen, or aristocrat. I guess I could get more aristocrat papers, but I have like eight of them, and I don't know why I have eight of them. So, nothing else to do there. Uh, and then if I talk to the ghosty people, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have anything for me until I finish healing uh, the bishop. I found a person. Oh, we can talk to him about it. Okay. I found a person. Uh, who can help us start the treatment. Perfect. But I still don't understand how to get the component we need. What do you know so far? We need to transform a shard of sin with the help of a highly sinful person. This transformed shard will be used in the coming treatment. Apparently it isn't enough to simply walk up to the right person. We'll probably need to trigger the person to express their sin. Which sin are we talking about here? Pride. Then we'll need to, to do something to stoke his pride. In a good way, of course. Hmm. What if we say something glorious about him? Something poetic? I think Wagner can help. Ha 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 ha. There was more to that before. Okay, I'm glad I checked with him because I would have waited until next Sunday and went to talk to the priest only to find out that I had to do more. So, we're, we're good. Alright. So, let's go talk to Vog. Now, where's Wagner? He's usually right here. And all of his stuff is still here. So, he must be part of the waiting a week group. Because the astrologer and... Wait a second. The astrologer and Miss Charm were supposed to be having a lovely week together. Exploring their new newfound uh, father-daughter relationship. But apparently she gave up early and decided to come to work today. Um, but I'm assuming Wagner is part of that. So he might be out for a little while. Or, and this is a solid maybe, he might be up at the, uh, the, upper, the other area because he is now transformed and is now a monster and is no longer uh, welcome in the tavern. So I might need to go see if I can find him. He's, he's probably up this way. But honestly, I don't remember seeing Wagner after the, after the incident. So I don't know, I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing. Wagner, where are you? There's Baron Gypsy Man. This is where I first found Wagner. He's not over here.
Sir, can I come in? No, okay. You, you're supposed to only be out at night. Apparently you're out early today. Have you seen Wagner? No. He buys the rare dagger. Interesting. I wonder if that's I wonder if that's his purpose. Alright, I have no idea where to find Wagner. Um This is a this is a, bit, a little bit of a conundrum. Hopefully they didn't mess it up. Um like, maybe I was supposed to do that whole DLC chain before Wagner turns into a monster and disappears. Uh, because that would be unfortunate. But yeah, I don't, I don't recall seeing him after the transformation. So I don't know where he would be hanging out. He's not on the beach, he's not on the bluffs. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. Alright, I have no idea. I guess we could keep wandering and see if we can find him, but uh, that feels kind of like a losing prospect. And there she goes. She just goes straight to the town, so her leading me onward isn't going to help much. As I apparently hide up her skirt for this journey. Oh dear. Ma'am, nice weather under here. Balmy. <laughs> Alright, so I have no idea where Wagner might be. Let's check the tavern at night, see if that helps at all. No, nope, he's still not here. It's not hiding out upstairs, right? No, okay. Anyone know where Wagner is? Hmm. This might require a googling. Why am I walking? Sweet home. All right, let's pass some time, shall we? Well, I'm trying to think of what to do next. Um, I think the only thing I really can do next is talk to uh, Snake at night. So we're going to wait until night. <clears throat> okay. So Snake should be coming up soon here. Oh, more hydrates and fixed backs. Okay, we can do that. Hi, Big D. How you doing? <laughs> Demos, if I had that option, I would. Because our light, our, our our lighthouse keeper, our graveyard keeper, is not uh, not the nicest of sorts. Did I ever finish my grapes? I don't know if I ever finished my grapes. Oh, and he's not here. Okay. Uh, oh, that's because I, I woke up too soon. All right, let's go. Let's go deal with my grapes. Ooh, you get to make 5,000 sandbags today. Wonderful. I'm assuming... Uh, I'm assuming there is an oncoming flood slash storm season that you're preparing for. Uh, 
I never did set up more grapes. Okay. I'm assuming that's a lot of water compared to the normal. Alright. You, sir. Oh, shit. Uh, upgrade. Upgrade. Grapes. Lots of them. Currently sitting in about 15 feet of water and expecting 37 to 38 feet of water. Oh, I see. That's a lot of that's a lot of feet. Uh, is this going to be a sudden flood that we're expecting, or is this a a gradual thing that's just going to happen as the snow melts, or where where are we at with this? Oh, you two live on the same river. Nice. We could send little bulk messages to each other. Little, little, uh, little radio controlled tugboats or something. Alright, more grapes. Two or three days will raise 15 to 20 feet. Oh dear. Oh dear. I am I am happy to be off of a floodplain. Weird part is I live right on the river. I live right on the Mississippi. But just due to the geography of the area, it's not ever gonna flood. Or unlikely to flood. I happen to be up on a big shelf above where the river d dips down into a swampland region. So it's got it's got to rise. 20 to 30 feet, if not more, to get up to me. And I don't think it ever has. Alright, so I got the, the two new zombies. Two new zombies are doing their thing. Uh, you are 11, and you're about as good as you're gonna get, I think. Let's grab you and take a peek. Yeah, if I got better heart and intestines on him, he'd probably be better. But I think 11 is pretty good. Let's throw him in the, on the greenery farm as well. Zombies doing more grapes, and you are you an okay zombie? You're a you're an eight, not fantastic, but you know what? It'll be fine. Understandable, Big D. Flooding is no joke. All right, green day. We're going down to talk to a snake. Hello, sir. How are you? Um, about the necklace, about the ritual. Can you steal an amulet for me? Snake, first of all, thanks for everything you've done for me. You've been a champ. Don't try to flatter me. You sound pathetic. What do you want? I need you to steal an amulet from the lighthouse keeper. You up for it? It's not a good time. I just ate a big meal, so my reflexes are slow, you know. Although I'd do it if you help me. You want money? It's been over a month since my cultists have caught an inquisitor and drowned him in the river. I guess they need proper motivation. Organize rat races in your tavern for them. Oh, we're doing rat races now. Okay. Sure. Why not? Can I do that now? That would be wonderful if I could do that now. I have all the stars. Uh, rat races. Rat race table. I need planks. I need 12 more 
planks. Okay. I could do that. I could do that easily. Rat races. Lovely. How do I play? How do I play? Oh. We have a rat race event. Rat race event. I need 10 flyers. All right. Well, good for them. Running a sold out show. Good. All right. I have put up the rat race table. Now it's time for a rat race event. Look at the little reddies go. <laughs> I love those half second events. All right, so we sold a bunch of pumpkin soup. Great. Lovely. All right. So now... We, we catch uh, we catch the snake man. It was literally like six hours ago that I talked to him and said we need to do the rat races. Sir, I did the do. Snake, a rat race has been organized. What do you say? I know. My cultists have already gambled away all their money. Chumps. Here's your amulet as we agreed. You look sick. What happened? The lighthouse keeper's rat race bit me. Uh, rat race, the race rats bit me while I was robbing him. Ow, it hurts. Uh, maybe I can help you? You really need an injection. An injection? Do you mean, like, put me down like a dog? Take the damn amulet and walk away while you still can. Well, no. I was talking about medicine, but I guess if you want to be a jerk about it. Alrighty, Big D. Have yourself a good night. Good luck with the not drowning. Alright, so now... Now we have the two, the two objects that the skull wanted for the tavern. How are we doing uh, time-wise? Yep, okay, so we gotta, we got two more days to wait till the moon. So let's go back to the talking skull. Oh, you have a lot of pumpkin soup still. All right. They did not like the pumpkin soup, by the way. But you know what? It's fine. How about some beer? Okay, so here's the amulet of the ancient god. I heard you organized a rat race. That's great. Maybe it'll inspire the cultists to draw more, drown more inquisitors. Hmm. Sir. Oh. Hi, priestesses. Hmm. Uh. Please don't be upset, but the village is destroyed. Half of us were taken prisoner, the rest killed. We already know, my friend. Go now. Rest and feed your family. What? Grab your swords and fight. We must take revenge, Bella. My dear Clotho, what's the point of that? Look. Dad's been wounded. Someone help him. Her Roderick. Ha! Huh, what a pleasant surprise. 
But before I tear out your eyes and tongue, tell me, why did you do it? Because of Chain. I love her. But the ancient god forbids. What? This is all about love? Amazing. Unbelievable. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's all in vain, Herodric. Chain was captured and is about to be executed. Take care of my dad. I'm gonna go murder some dudes. Dickus, I ordered you to tuck away from some golden apples from the Tree of Wisdom. I managed to hide three and I had to eat the other two. Clotho, he's bleeding to death. Hmm, yes, Bella. It would be most unfortunate if Diggis, who has grown so wise, suddenly died. Ha! You must invent a ritual for us, Apple Eater. A ritual that will kill all our enemies at once. Write the Necronomicon, and then we will heal you. Oh. Diggis writes the Necronomicon. An interesting twist. By the way, you never finished your story. What story? Ah, about the portal. Well, we've looked for keys and their bearers for five years. Did you find them? I think so, but then I, I don't remember. Okay. Will, will, will this help you remember? Hmm, it'll be interesting to see who the shackles belong to. <clears throat> to one of the numberless victims of the new faith, perhaps? I take it you killed the guards on the upper floors, Sir Roderick? Impressive. Guys, go get some beer for the four of us. You'll have to cut off my legs, Kresvold, or I will march on. You don't understand. You think Jove and Lucius don't know who saved Diggus? If you rescue Chain, they'll declare you a traitor and, her and a heretic. Brother, let's sit together, have a beer, and talk it over, just like old times. It will never be like old times, Kreswold. Brother. My brother would have helped me rescue Chain. Jane? Where are you? Uh, oh, hi, Birdie. Honey, what did they do to you? Oh, Hori, is that you? It's over, my love. You're free. Here, take my hand. Remember my promise? We're together at last. We can be happy. Hori, we... happy? Happy? Yeah, yeah, I know everything went to hell and it's all my fault, but... In the end, our love is what's really important. Hori, dear, look around. Love? The whole world is ruined. Tell me, is it right for such love to exist? Forgive me, my dear, but I, I, I can't. Oh. He burned down the entire town and then rejected. Sad, but it makes sense. Do you, did you remember anything new? Oh yes, the keeper asked the portal to return him home. And then boom! Holy sard, the keeper is dead. The others, they're all dead. Maybe the keeper didn't formulate his wish correctly. Or maybe it was something else. After all, the man with the red eye found me and took me away. That's all I remember. Amazing. Okay, let's get to the next artifact. An ancient pickaxe, and uh, it belongs to Kugel. Oh yeah, Kugel. I also see here that we need the ancient keys to the prison cell. And they're in Adam's home, is that right? Cool, you're a quick study. Let me look. Damn, the ink ran. Machine says Witch Hill. Try to dig around there. Okay. I will do that. 
So we gotta deal with Adam again. I don't wanna deal with Adam again. He's such a downer. Still two more days before we can go find vampires. Or at least start finding vampires. Alright, so Adam is over here. And apparently he doesn't go to bed until like midnight, so we should be able to talk to him. Hi, Adam. About those keys you might have. It won't be easy to convince Adam to let me inside his house. Adam, I've been waiting a long time for the chance to see your collection of antiques. You really want to see them? Why? You plan to criticize me, or are you going to break something? Nope, just want to enjoy the art. Hmm, you don't look like an art connoisseur to me. Prove it. Bring me three high-quality vases. Vases. Fine. Fine. Alright, let me walk this way. Because walking's good for our shins. Actually, I'm not entirely sure our character has shins. He's kind of stubby. Uh, let me go up to the witch, ho the witch hill and see if there's anything to dig up here. Ah, here's a dig spot. Well, hey, look. I got a clay pot of tar. I don't, I don't think that's what we're looking for. What were we looking for? I forgot. Gary doesn't tell me. Okay. I got a, I got a clay pot of tar, though. I don't, I don't know if that's useful, but I can't research it, so probably useful. All right. Anything else to dig around here? I mean, there's 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 a grave to dig around here. I probably shouldn't. You know, there's some story stuff that I'm missing. Or at least that I thought I remember seeing. This grave, at one point in the past, four years ago when I last played this game, I had to fix up this grave to appease the Inquisitor. But I no longer need to do that because so far the Inquisitor has given me everything I wanted without having to do that. Um, up to and including using his vineyard, which I previously did not have access to unless I appeased the, the, the Inquisitor. So I'm confused about that grave. But we also have the grave that's at uh, that other place. The Miller's house. So maybe we fix them up anyway. Let's fix them up anyway. I had previously said that we probably should wait until there was a story telling me to fix them up, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. So let's fix them up anyway. Um, they very much are like the Spanish Inquisition. Yes. You wanna you wanna squish a cat? Well, the loud and obnoxious cat has just left, so it's fine. The little bitty kitty here, he needs his eyes cleaned, and then we can squish the cat. Little bitty kitty. Little bitty kitty. Come here. Me. Squish that cat. Beans. Beans. Squish that cat. This cat loves being squished. He's a. Uh, he likes being squished.
Creeper. Creeper. What do you got in your face, Creeper? He's got fluff on his face. The, uh, the Creeper, which looks a little bit vaguely inappropriate. I will squish you too, sir. I will squish. I'll do it. Don't make me do it. I'm a squish. Squishing that cat. Squish the cat. Gila. Gila. I need you to stop. And, and of course, you, you you threw me off a game. I should have waited for a moment. Because now we have ads starting. I should have waited until the ads before dealing with your, dealing with your buttons. But it is a perfect time for some treats. Because they're putting up with me as much as I'm putting up with them. So let's do that. And we'll do that for the ads. Uh, ad break, you uh, you good? Ad, ad break, you good? Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, kitties, come on. So what would the add command do? Because I certainly don't want ads to be called on command. Because ads are already bad enough as it is with the schedule. Do you get to see the ad manager? Do you get to see the, uh, the ad schedule as a mod? I don't know if that's something you have access to. Alright, so we're gonna fix up this, uh, this grave here. Alright, we're gonna give you top quality. We're gonna, we're gonna give you Angel. Lovely. Yeah, but if you can't see the ad schedule, then you can't push the button to know that the ad break is coming. So the command wouldn't do too terribly much good. <coughs> 
Hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. Alright, and you can have you can have this one. Unfortunately, I don't have another marble fence, so you can have a stone fence. There we go. Lovely. It's lovely. Do you like your new do you like your new grave? I made it pretty for you. No, okay. He doesn't care. Alright. Let's go home. Let's chop up those crappy old things in the firewood. Alright, our ad break is over. We got kitties treating. And I just finished the... I just finished upgrading the, uh, the graves for the Inquisitor and the Miller. All right, uh, let's see. So next up, we sleep. It's not moon day yet, so we might just need to meditate the rest of the evening. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's go send some crates. I need more nails. I need lots more nails. Good lord! All right. Right, I didn't have I didn't have pumpkins on auto. Let's put pumpkins back on auto. Uh, I would say as many as we can, pine, because they just take forever to to, to craft. User verification, nothing, nothing for stream manager. Okay, interesting. I thought mods had some access to stream manager stuff. Let's go to the lighthouse. Talk to you, sir. Ha ha! Hello, my young friend. What a bloody fine day it is today. I haven't felt so alive in years. My daughter is a bit upset about all that love stuff. I understand. I've decided to help my friend repair his lighthouse. It's a lot of work, but I'll be glad to be helpful. Well, good for you. 
Now, about that vampire that I've been ignoring for months. You know, Herodric's wife mentioned that you once had an encounter with some vampires. Vampires? Hmm, that was a long time ago, even before the Great Blast. Yes, it was in the glade to the right of the waterfall. My friend Keeper was with me. Uh, glade to the right of the waterfall. Okay. We were having a picnic, picnic as I recall, and then four guys with fangs suddenly showed up and assaulted the Keeper. But some strange magic protected him, and they all turned into vampire jaws. Uh, like vampire sharks? Or just leftover jaws of vampires? Amazing! Do you know anything else about vampires? Well, for instance, I've read that vampire alchemists have, been, have discovered four groups of blood. More interesting, vampires only drink group O. The other groups give them cavities in their fangs, ulcers. Green eruptions on the skin, decades-long paralysis, and other nuisances. Well, my childhood dream has come true. I'm a detective, just like Sherlock Holmes. So let's apply the deductive method, or inductive. D doesn't matter. Roderick didn't recognize the guy, neither did Rose, and what's more, Farmer's son called out to him, but did, the individual didn't hear him. So he isn't a regular villager, and he has hearing problems. Dot, dot, dot. I got it. I need to talk to the Master Alaric and the Marquis. Uh, which one's Master Alaric and the Marquis? Master Alaric is... I don't remember, actually. Oh, just those little fake vampire teeth. Plastic vampire teeth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Which one's Master Alaric? Hang on. Nope. Which one's he? Which one's he? So, Herodric, Kukul, and to get the ancient pickaxe from him. And to go make the, the vases for Adam. Ah, the Marquis. This is the Marquis, okay. And then Alaric is... The old man's sickly paleness and incredible exhaustion make you feel awkward. Ah, right. So he was the guy that was in the tent when we first showed up at the, um, at the refugee camp. And he hasn't been spoken to since. I forgot about him. But while we're over on this side of the world, we're going to attempt to talk to the hunchback if he's... At, he supposedly only comes out at night, but I've seen him out at many other hours. And then there's there's poor Dig down there. I think as Diggis was laying there dying in the dream or flashback or whatever it was, I think he finally had Dig's voice cue, the little uh, the little chatters noises that they make. So I think that that does confirm that he is Dig. And he went on a downward spiral after that. Yeah, so Hunchback is not here. He'll, he'll be there at night. Um, so we need to go to the refugee camp and talk to some dudes about some stuff. So, about that vampire. Marquis, do you know anything about vampires? One of them is terrorizing the village, and I suspect that it might be... One of us? Impossible. I know all of these people quite well. When you share a cell, it makes you especially close. What about Master Alaric? Alaric? I don't think so, but I couldn't guarantee it. Then he's our prime suspect. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I love how he just takes it in stride. Doesn't doesn't concern himself with the, the vampire situation. He's just like, okay, whatevs. So, we must confront a vampire man. Hello. It's creepy and dark in here, and you're creepy and dark. Master Alaric, the nearby village is greatly alarmed at the thought of vampires. Well, what did you say? Master Alaric, I said the closest vi- <laughs> Pillage? Where? When? 
Not pillage. The closest village. They are concerned. Burned? But who did it? And why? Okay, the villager in a rage over vampires. Age of vampires? Vampires. Ah, yes, vampire. Vampires. Don't talk rubbish. I'd rather believe in the fluffy yellow rabbit that calls down lightning. Vampires. Pfft. So you doubt vampires exist? I'm gonna stop shouting now. But the villagers saw them. Witnesses. Victims. I don't merely doubt they exist. I'm absolutely sure of it. Joke is on you, my poor boy. Isn't it obvious? Hmm? Please don't bother me anymore over such nonsense, alright? He's so confident. It's easy to believe him, but... He forgot to cover the green sore on his wrist. Astrologer said that's a sign of a vampire on a bad diet. I'll stake out the tent at night and keep an eye on the lark. Heh, <laughs> steak. Also, there happens to be what appears to be blood splattered all over the ground. I, I think... I think we have our vampire. Can we stake out the tent now? Alright, let's go home for a sec. I need to make three snazzy vases. Do I have enough vases? Nope, stab it. Vases. I have plenty of vases, we just need to cook them up to make it pretty. Oh. Hang on. Adam. 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 Adam, there we go. Um, make three vases and bring them to Adam. Okay. Um, let's make three of these anyway. Because they're not labeled as vases, but I'm pretty sure that was the picture that they were asking for when, uh, when they gave me the quest. That's actually going to take a little while. All right. So can we go to, can we go to, I think beach is probably the closest. Yeah, 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 take my money. He's not here yet. He's coming right now. Wonderful. Hello, sir. I need your ancient pickaxe. What do you need? You're spoiling my business. Uh, it looks like I'm your only customer at the moment. Then buy something and get out. I need an ancient pickaxe. Really? Hmm. That's a rare pickaxe. I heard it once belonged to the first king. You really want it? Then help me with my hump. The doctors are useless. Find a witch who can help. I want to look like everyone else. Well, alright then. I think we can manage that. We'll stake out the tent. So it's getting to be nightish. I'm just gonna stand here like a normal villager and pretend like everything's okay. Actually, I'm gonna go up here and see if there's anything, anything else we can build. Uh, I guess I could build more... I can't build more beds. Um, I guess I can call in... Mm, no, I can't call a new refugee. Soul receiver. Why is that a thing I need to build up here? Hmm. Curious. Curious. I am staking out the tent. Very, very quiet. We're hunting vampires.
don't think it's gonna happen, is it? Sir. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. There's really nothing gonna happen. Oh, Kitty's finally gone. Hi, I'm back. Really? Nothing's gonna happen. You told me to stake this place out at night. And here I am, staking this place out at night. I think this might be the usual situation of uh, not triggering events on the same day. Which is kind of obnoxious. Alright, uh, what was it doing? What was it doing? Roy Royal Services asked Wagner to write something glorious. Wait, do I have to, like, send him a letter or something? I guess. Um. <laughs> so I am near Alaric's tent at night. I am, I am here. Oh, for fuck's sake, it was, a, it was an area trigger. Oh, well then. It's incredible. It's like a classic horror movie. I should hurry to the village and stop him. Somehow. By the way, I wonder where he... where he's hid his sleeping coffin. You shall not pass, foul creature. Defend yourself. Hey, I'm talking to you. Have some respect. You'll have to speak louder. He's deaf. This world's gone crazy. Deaf vampires, garlic munching vampires, what's next? Stop, you monster, and fight me! There's no point, young man. Your wife's blood doesn't suit me. And as for you, you really don't seem tasty enough. You will die a long and torturous death for this insult, you bastard. Defend yourself! I admire your logic, not to mention your fervor, but if you don't leave me alone... He's not alone. We'll both stop you, vampire. Hey guys, there's no need to kill each other. Let's talk first. Wait, what? Why am I saying both of those things? <laughs> uh... Guys? 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 Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Broke it. We're still in cutscene mode. And uh, we're just stuck here, not able to do anything. God damn it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Alright. And of course, I haven't saved in a while. Gentlemen. I mean, I can still trade with them. That's cool, I guess. Here, buy all of my greens. All of them. All of the greens. All of them. There. Buy all of my greens. And you, sir. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Let's see how much we lost. Every time I think I'm safe to make progress and not bother saving, I lose a bunch of progress. Oh no, it's really broken. Okay, we're still in cutscene mode out here too. Sweet. All right. Let's start over. The 
<laughs> cinematic time every time all the time Please don't be broken. Hey, all right. So we're back. We're back here again. Um, it is soon to be Moon Day. So I definitely lost some time. Where are we at quest-wise? Um, I still need to talk to astrologer about the vampire attack to start that. Uh, ancient pickaxe for Kukul. Actually, I can do that tonight, I guess. Uh, let's get those vases started. You might have had that problem too. Interesting. Alright, so we'll power through this conversation again. Uh, let's go see if Clotho is available to speak to. Yeah, good. Hello, ma'am. Help the humpback man. How are you, my sweet? What can an old lady do for you? Clotho, can you rid a man of his hump? Oh, I'm so sorry, my sweet. And you're so young. Here, let Clotho take a look. It, it's not me. Not you. Thank the ancient god. Such a beautiful keeper with a hump. Yuck. Believe me, it's not me. My, um, friend, Kukul, wants to look like everyone else. He... Oh, I see. Take this spell scroll. You'll also need a dark organ. And Kukul definitely has a couple. Oh, so we just strip out his organ and give it back to him or something? I don't take that. Lovely. Scroll with a spell. I cannot use it. Okay. So, let's go back to Kugel. You say save. You say, you say save, okay. <laughs> you say save, so let's do that. Double save, just in case. All right. Beach. Here's your uh, spell. I also need to steal one of your organs. Don't worry about it. What took you so long? Even with my limp, I could have gone it faster. If you want to get rid of your hump, please. Shut up and listen. I have a magic scroll, but we also need a dark organ. A dark organ? That's easy. Take your pick. A heart, brain, or intestine. Um, it's that one. Wait for me here tomorrow. Oh. He's not going to give me one of his. He's just going to go acquire one from somewhere. Alright. You creepy bastard. Alright. Um, let's go home quick. Ah, these are done. It's a little bit late to go talk to Adam, though. He's, he's done at this hour. But I am going to go check the mailbox and see it because it, it said royal services about talking to um, Wagner so do I mail Wagner write a letter to Wagner oh well all right then let's, let's do that Uh, 
I need one of these. Dear Wagner, how's your new life with your father going? What's the news? Everything is calm and peaceful in the village, so don't worry about us. Could you do me a favor? I need you to write something glorious for the bishop. It would be great if you could assist us with this, since I am sure your poetic talent still shines brightly even in your circumstances. Hope you'll help me. Sending you a friend hug. Keeper. <laughs> Alright, so now we got to wait a day for a response there, so I'm glad I did that one. Uh, do I still have my... Nope, that took the entire jar of ink. Alright, well, alright, that's fine. Now we go save again. Because I now trust the... I, I now trust this game... Um, zero. I, I, I have the zero trust. Alright, so now it is moon day. Let's uh, wait just a moment. Hi, hello, we're gonna skip this dialogue. He is happy as a clam. Now talk about vampires. Lovely. Okay, so now we go back home and we save because I don't want to keep doing that. Perfect. Now we can go to refugee camp and we can talk to the Marquis, who's somewhere around here. Where you at, bud? Ah, he's down here tending to the bees. Hello, sir. No time for ragworts. Alright, vampire, vampire, yada yada, a lark. He's suspicious and Marquis like, okie dokie. Sure, whatevs. Nothing shocks him anymore. Let me talk to the vampire. Accuse him of being a vampire. Loudly. Now we gotta come back here at night. But in the meantime, is there anything else we can do questy wise? Uh, it is currently moon day, so Sunday is tomorrow. Do I have what I need to do? So tomorrow, Sunday, we should get the letter from Wagner tomorrow, which means we can do the uh, the Bishop Pride healing. Okay, that's good. Should be right on time for that. Uh, a lark, a lark at night. I need to go talk to Adam if he's awake. And then Kugel tonight. Right, let's go see if Adam's awake yet. Also, how's my money doing over here? I have no no money and no goods because I have not been focusing on that. It's okay. Adam, you're awake. Hi. I have I have your vases to prove that I am an art coin soir. Adam, look at these vases. They're masterpieces. I made them myself. Hmm, vases? Those aren't good vases. They're crooked glass pots. You think I'm a fool and a drunkard, and you can and you, and you can slip me this garbage? Never. Okay, don't get upset. What kind of vases do you want? Beautiful, rare, and expensive. About your vases. I'm only buying them, so I can break them. Take five silver things. <laughs> Shout save every couple seconds. Um. Hmm. No, you're a dick. I'm keeping them. 
I can always talk to the merchant about vases I need. You're, you're, you're a jerk, Adam. Also, I don't have his tier 3 yet because I have never bothered coming over to Adam. Um, so no. I know it's been seven whole minutes. I need to save. 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 Ah, there we go. Okay. So, in terms of things to do, I have two nighttime activities. Well, no, hang on. I was, I was counting Adam as a nighttime activity. Uh, but he was awake during the day, so that's fine. So we can go talk to the vampire and do the whole vampire thing at night. Oh, no, we do have two, because Kukul tonight. Yeah, okay, so let's do a sleep. Or, uh, do, do a meditate. Meditate until evening. That'll do. I'm gonna go back over to the beach. He cost me five silver every time I warp over here. Yeesh. That's fine. I'm swimming in cash. It'll be fine. Alright, Google. Whose intestines did you bring me? Take this one. A few days ago, we cut down a crowd of walking dead near the pass. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing that happened around here. What are you waiting for? Read the spell. Are you sure? Maybe we should talk about safety precautions. Read it or I'll kill you. Boom, 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 boom. What? I want to look like everyone. Boom, 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 boom. Want to look like everyone. Etc. Hmm, something went wrong. Your hump is still there, like usual. Er, but look, now you have a hump. Ha! <laughs> and look over there, a pair of hunchback squirrels. Really? No, I don't see anything like that. Oh, I know, the spell makes you see everyone like you, with humps. It's an illusion? Meh. I thought now everyone had humps. That would have been cool. So, I guess you failed. You can forget about the pickaxe. Dot, dot, dot. Listen, Kukul, how about free drinks at my tavern? Well, Haradric doesn't even let me to his inn, because I tend to scare off the customers. I'm so much more tolerant towards hunchbacks. That's good, but I'm not tolerant of bad taverns. But you put out some decent tables and chairs, and you'll get the pickaxe. Wow. Wow. It is interesting how they've, they've tied all these in to upgrading the tavern. I mean, it makes sense. It was part of the tavern DLC. But, like, every damn one of them wants me to do something silly to enhance the tavern before they'll talk to me. But their need for me to enhance the tavern is... Uh, tenuous at best. Alright, what the... what the... what you... what you want? Ah, tavern table two. I see. So, can I upgrade them, or do I need to destroy the ones that are there? Probably need to destroy the ones that are there first. I do not have enough silk to do all of them. I don't know if he wants all of them or not, but let's go get some more planks and some more beams, and we'll do three of the four tables, because I have enough silk for that. Oh, let's save, and then talk to a vampire. You gonna... I'm, I'm skulking. I'm staking out your tent, sir. We're not doing this. Ah, there it goes. Must have been an after midnight thing. And he poofs and he flaps.
All right, so then we walk to the town. You shall not pass, foul creature. I'm not going to click anything. We're just going to let it run its course. <laughs> I'm a guard in the dark. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you over here. You, you got to speak up. He's deaf. This world's gone crazy. All right, next. I'm not, I'm not clicking anything. I'm going to let it run. Do. Stop, you monster, and fight me! There's no point, young man. Your wife's blood doesn't suit me. And as for you... Dot, dot, dot. You really don't seem tasty enough. You will die a long and torturous death for this insult. You bastard. Defend yourself. Ah, uh, now the now the chat bubbles are in the right order. Are the right people talking. I admire your logic, not to mention your fervor, but if you don't leave me alone dot 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 Oh, uh, and okay. You know what? Just gonna let it be. There's no need to kill each other. Let's talk first. He's not alone, we'll both stop the Oh wait, this is a this is a an option? Oh. Let's talk. Keeper, this is not your business. I asked you not to bother me. Yes, well, I'm bothering you. Now face the consequences. Um. Just got flash bombed by a vampire. Hey, I can't see. That's not fair. Even if you escape, I know where to find you and... Sleep well. Bonk. Where am I? Did I die? Is this heaven? Heaven? No, more like the opposite. This is my tent, and you're alive. You, I remember. You're a vile vampire. Wait a second, why didn't you kill me? And, hey, you can hear me. What the hell's going on? While you were unconscious, I borrowed a part of your hearing. What? Don't worry, as you can tell, your own hearing has already regenerated. But why did you suggest I might have killed you? Uh, because of everything? You're a monster, I know your secret, and... I'm no monster, and I'm not so foolish as to kill the graveyard keeper. That would ruin everything. I had planned to do something rather, rather naughty with you, I admit. Oh my. But I have since changed my mind. You managed to track me, so you're more capable than I imagined, and you might even be useful. I won't help a vampire. I'll leave you alone for a while, calm your emotions, and shed your ridiculous delusions of heroism. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Time's up. Now listen to my words and make your choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the ancient curse. It has returned, and I must stop it before it's too late. It is my duty, as written in the ancient contract. Should I fail, a thousand bloodthirsty zombies will flood the town, the village, and even your graveyard. But I can put them to work. But the problem is already too advanced. I can't deal with it on my own. I need your help, Keeper. Um, it's... It's all rather unexpected. I need to think. I see. You're welcome to ask any questions. But remember, we're already running short of time. Oh. So the ancient vampire is here to save the world. I see. Curious. Hello, sir. Oh, God. What did you do to the shepherd? Absolutely nothing. A little bump on the head. It was completely harmless. I suppose I might. it might even do him some good. Anyway, he's at home and his wife is cooking, looking after him. <laughs> cooking after him. Uh... Were, you've been a vampire since you were born? No, I was contaminated over 30 years ago. Some vampires kidnapped me, put me in a cage, tortured me, and did this to me. I hate my curse more than anything, but there's no cure for it. I drink blood, I drink blood only in the most desperate situation, to avoid a terrible death. I can't save it's in the middle of conversations. Why did you attack the villagers? I didn't want to, but I'm nearly dying of hunger. 
If I try to attack anyone at the camp, Teodoro would easily find me out. I remember a movie. There was a guy who drank rat blood or he'd... I do not fear death, but I cannot leave this world without fulfilling my duty. Oh, okay. What's this ancient curse everyone's been talking about this entire game and no one's bothered telling me about it? It was laid upon us two centuries ago when disciples of the new faith destroyed the ancient bridge. Oh, um, that curse. We still haven't gotten that far in the, in the discussion yet, but we'll get there eventually. Departed souls could no longer find a way to the land of the dead. They grew mad in despair, returned to their bodies, and began killing everyone. The walking dead flooded the world. Only the ancient god and the ancient contract saved humankind from annihilation. Uh, tell me of the ancient contract then. It contains the list of dictates which stave off the ancient curse. It was agreed to by representatives of the new and old faith and the ancient god. My brothers and I, as signatories, were obliged to follow it faithfully and execute all its conditions. We did so for nearly 170 years, but as you can see, we failed eventually. <laughs> you're even older than Moses, not bad. I always considered it strange that graveyard keepers weren't informed of all this stuff. In the end, you're the, gar the, you're the guarantors of the contract. Um, why did it return? Because the strictures of the ancient contract were violated too many times. What do you mean? The Inquisitor's cruelty, the cult brutality, the ships of the dead stuck in the harbor. And most importantly, we haven't had a graveyard keeper in the past 30 years. Your predecessor was killed before you. The next chosen keeper were even born. There must always be a graveyard keeper. There are th they are the guarantors of the contract. That's why I asked when we first met about the role you play. And how do we stop this? The curse began to return after the Great Blast, and according to the information I have, the fourth keeper, your predecessor, had been killed in the Great Blast. So we must unmask the murderer of the fourth keeper. Only the person who triggered the curse can stop its spread. Well, it looks like I'll be playing Sherlock Holmes a bit more. So there's nobody else who can stop, uh, who can help with the curse? Nobody. The other signatories are bound by a seal of silence. Except for me and my brothers. But it's useless to count on them. No. Oh. Why won't they help with the curse? This is not the time or place to discuss them. Perhaps one day. But for now, know this. We can rely only on ourselves. You see? Well... I guess I should probably help save the world. I know it's not an easy decision, but it's the right one. Let's see. For starters, take these scrolls. They'll help you save a lot of time traveling. Then we should. We should. Should. Blah. <laughs> Master Alark, what happened to you? Wait, I'll call the, I'll call the, I'll call the Marquis. No, never, never him. If he learns that I'm a vampire, he'll pierce my heart with a wooden stake with the greatness of pleasure. Blood. Just a drop of blood. Please hurry. Blood? Well, I doubt any corpse blood is tasty, but we're out of options. Blood it is. BRB. Um, so he gave me teleportation scrolls. Nothing fancy, just a way to get around. Alas, disposable. That is just a shame. Save. 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 I'm so refreshed. Alright, so we got to get a drop of blood. Happen to have one of those in my pocket right here. And I'll drop that off while I'm here. And we're going to take a... Mm, hang on. We're going to take a little side trip to the tavern to put away the shiny things. Oh, it's Sunday. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, I know, vampire, you're dying of a lack of blood at the moment, and I am your only salvation, but uh, bear with me a sec. I got a thing to do. Read the letter from Wagner. 
Dear Keeper, warm greetings. I'm fine. Things certainly aren't the way they used to be, but I'm not complaining. I'm still in the training camp for beginners. It's not easy for me physically, but I can take it. I'm enclosing the ode with this letter. I expect it should be it should serve your purpose nicely. Hope it does what you need. I've got a request for you in return, Keeper. I presently find myself in rather a difficult financial situation. Could I count on you for a little help? I'd like to buy something nice for Miss Charm when we get a chance to get to the market. Thank you for all that you've done for me. I return your hug with friendly warmth, Wagner. Sure, have some money, Wagner. You've been a good dude. Thanks, that's just what I needed. Alright, sir. Ah, right, I need, a, I need a shard. Hang on, hang on. Okay, we can do this. Where's my shards? Where's my shards? I think I have a shard up here. No, I moved all my shards. Dang it. Fine, we'll walk down the shards the easy way. And by easy way, I mean it's all still kind of awful to navigate this place. Where'd I put them? Where'd I put them? Oh, that's right. I put them all in here. I need one of you, please. Thank you. Hang on, vampire. Don't die on me. I got stuff to do. Alright, so about this ode that I owe you. Your Highness. Yes, Keeper? I was wondering, when was the last time the people really showed their gratitude towards you? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't happen as often as I'd like. Well, I suppose it happens once or twice a week. Why do you ask? I have here some words written just for you. May I read it to you? Oh, this sounds interesting. What could it be? Of course you may read it. O oh, blessed and mighty holiness, higher none could ever be. Overwhelming beauty, kindness, everyone's impressed by thee. Wheresoever you step, the gloom seems to drift a world away. Whensoever you speak, your wisdom drips from every word you say. What beautiful words, Keeper. Apparently you truly do see the real me. And that means you're on the path to you're on the path of God. <laughs> All right, so we have we have a pay we have appeased the man, and now we got to do our sermon quick because we're here. We'll do speed run sermon. Oh, Gizmo's been running around like a psychopath, so I keep going back to the camera to get him doing his thing. Alright, so that's been did. I'm trying to make sure I'm catching everything that I can. Witch Hill, lasers... Uh, right, I gotta improve the chairs and tables in my tavern. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Alright, so I need to be ready on Merchant Day, Quake Day. Slap these guys in there. Free up my pockets a little bit. 
make this place a little prettier. Uh, let's get a count quick. So we have five tab or four tables. So I'm going to need 20 wooden beams and 40 wooden planks, and I need one more silk. Beams. There we go. Alright, so that's that, and the silk I've just got. Now we go back to the refugee camp and we save a vampire quick. Hang in there, bud. Got the blood for you. Oh. We could give him a bucket? Interesting. Here, have some blood. There, that's a bit better, but the taste is amazingly foul. What was it? Ah, uh, corpse blood. Or, oops, shit. Oh no, not again. Hello, diarrhea. But you're right, thank you, in spite of all of it. If you wish, I can bring you some regularly, so that you can stop bothering the villagers. It's a deal. And paying you for the service would be the honest thing, wouldn't it? Okay, I have something for you right now. It's my old vampire sun cream. You can show it to them as the evidence of the vampire's demise. Then the villagers will stop worrying and you'll get your reward. Thank you. May I ask, why did you say Teodoro would be glad to kill you? Because it's true. But that is none of our, those, but that, but that is one of those burdens that cannot be shared. You passed out, you, you passed out and never finished your thought. Ah, yes. You must find the vampires who captured and tortured me 30 years ago. I remember they asked me about the ancient contract and the ancient curse. I'm sure they are somehow connected to the curse and the Great Blast. Where should I start looking? Do you have an address? I don't know. They sort of disappeared after the Great Blast. So the trail is cold, let me think. Astrologer told me that he and the Fourth Keeper were attacked by vampires. Some strange magic turned their attackers into vampire jaws. Maybe it's possible to find these jaws and disenchant them. I've heard of this place. I should inform a lark. I know where we could start looking, but that event happened so long ago. Any clue must be long gone. That's not a great problem. Borrow the Witcher's Eye from Teodoro. It's a special artifact for discovering things that are shrouded in veils of time. Aren't you coming with me? I'm still too weak from hunger, and daylight is deadly to me. Ah, ads. They're coming soon. Soon! Hmm, well, I'll tell you if I find anything. Okie dokie. Alright, so I've got the Witcher's Eye. Um, so we don't need to worry about that. It has been X amount of time. You are correct. Oh, hi, hello. I heard that the graveyard keeper is an extraordinary individual. But nobody warned me that he is also a handsome man. And your beard is so long, so attractive. It calls out for me to touch it, to immerse my fingers in it. Uh, thanks? It's unusual to hear words from an inquisitor. Does it surprise you that a beautiful and intelligent woman can be an Inquisitor? See for yourself, my dear. Not all female Inquisitors are lonely, bitter, ugly old hens. Her voice is hypnotic in her eyes. It's... I feel naked. It's awful. May I know your name and the purpose of your visit? Oh, I adore direct men. Lady Beatrice. And I'm looking for someone. Someone who's... What's that disgusting smell? Is that corpses? It's 
spritz spritz. More spritzes. Please stop doing that. It smells unbearable. What? It's a revolutionary, unique freshener. Really? You prefer the smell of corpses? Definitely. At least it doesn't make my eyes water. How disappointing. I had hoped on a more arousing encounter. Perhaps next time. Sorry, you didn't say. Who are you looking for? Heretics. Sentenced to the Holy Fire. They escaped from prison and fled town. With the help of an old inquisitor who betrayed his faith in his god. Duh, duh, duh. I'd love to help, but I don't know what you're talking about. Duh, duh, duh. Don't worry, my dear. You've already helped. Alright. Alright. Hey, what was that? I smell... strange. Dried cloves and lilies. Beautifully combined with the smell of rotting corpses. Poof. Okay. Well, that's a new one. Um... I don't remember her at all, but she's part of the, uh, apparently part of the vampire chain, if the purple icon means anything, so, um, that would be why I don't remember her. Fascinating. Also, Inquisitor is using magic. Doesn't that make them witches and thus heretics? I'm confused. Alright, now it is ad time. We shall dink around for a few minutes. In fact, actually, now's a good time for a BRB. Uh, get yourselves, get yourselves a drink, have a stretch, run around in circles, we know whatever, whatever you gotta do for the next three minutes after I say it, because we just talked to Lady Beatrice. So yes, tis BRB time.
And we return. So that was a strange encounter with creepy lady waking up next to me. A little bit weird. Um, where was I? What was I doing? Yeah. So I gotta bring that back to Herodric, I'm assuming. Yes. Look at this! I took it from the corpse of a vampire. We're all good. You did it! Amazing! You helped us enormously. Oh, thank you, thank you. All our village is grateful to you. Oh, our hero. What you have done here today will not be forgotten. That's cool to hear. So... So? My reward. Reward? Oh, sorry, I entirely forgot. I must warn you that the economic situation in our village is not the best. Herodric, my reward. The town's duties have increased and the harvest hasn't been good to us these past few years. Herodric! Here it is. It's a sad day when even heroes can't show compassion for the common villager. <laughs> Herodric, money! Now, gimme. Alright, so. We are, we are done here. We have, we have found and slayed the vampire. Uh, I need to ask the Inquisitor about Lady Beatrice, but Inquisitor's Day is like a half a week from now. Um, I need to buy three rare vases from the merchant. That's tomorrow. Go fix most of the tables. Can I get inside Adam's house? or do I, have, I have to get the, the vases first. Okay. Um, so let's go to the tavern and do some of these things. Yep, we gotta destroy it first. Alright. Doot, 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 doot. Sorry, bud. I know you're sitting there, but, uh... Yoink. Sorry, people. Here. Oh. Now they're in the way. Well, shit. Scoot. 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 No, scoot further. You're... Mm -hmm. Ma'am. Scoot. I swear to God, ma'am. <laughs> now we got fancier chairs. Fancier tables. There. I built that chair right under your ass. That's a, this is perfect. Well choreographed maneuver. Alright, so we're going to have to destroy one more here. I'm actually going to destroy that now. And let the people stay the hell away from it so I can build there next time. Still need one more silk. So I get, can't do that till tomorrow. We save. Also, I got some chocolate. I got some Easter chocolate for myself. Well, mom got it for me. But still, I got chocolate. So we're waiting until tomorrow, where we can then talk to the merchant, and get the silk that we need, and get the three fancy vases. My friend, do you have any expensive vases? 
Oh, unfortunately, you're a bit too late. I just sold them. To who? That weirdo beekeeper? I'm sure you've seen him around. Okay, fine. You know what? All of it. Just in case. Uh, do you want some? You want some more seeds? I have some more seeds. Here, have a have a bunch. All right. And in the traditional fetch quest style, we're going all over the damn place trying to find what we need. So vases, give me. Aha! I know you've been talking to Adam. He sent you to kill me and my bees. Believe it or not, I just need those vases you bought. You want to give them to Adam? I do. Aha! That's why I bought them. I knew Adam wanted them. I figured out that Adam has horn is Hornet Man, and I've and I've foiled my enemy's plans. He's crazy, but I need those vases. You're right. He is Hornet Man, and he is, and this is your chance to defeat him. What do you mean? Put poison honey into the vases. Adam will taste it and die. Excellent plan. I'll get my revenge at last. But, alas, my hypertoxic bee poison was stolen by another foe. Dig. Time to talk to Dig. <laughs> Gila. Wow. The roundabout method of getting the shit that I need is remarkable. He's got cake. Welcome, welcome, guest. Taste the divine cake I made. Hmm, looks delicious. What's it made of? Hypertoxic bee poison. Deadly sweet. The perfect way to keep people as your guests forever. Er, wow. Tempting, but... Take a bite, or I'll bite you. This is my holiday. I'm the host. I need a new plan right now. Gila, come here. If it's your holiday, then let's play some games before we eat the cake. Gila, Gila. Some games? How nice. I'll be the Sphinx and you'll be the fool. Listen to my riddle. It grows in spring, it falls in fall. Um, all of the above? Ugh, awful. Try again. Um, cakes. Yes, cakes with bee poison. Hooray, you want a whole cake. Cool, I'll share some of it with the beekeeper and come back to play some more. Okay, but be careful with that guy. I think he's crazy. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's gotta be cakes. It's always cakes. But I thought he gave me the cake. I apparently did did not pick up the cake. Can I? I did. I I was not close enough to pick up the cake. That's why. Okay. I now have poison cake. Here, have some cake. Listen closely. Take all the poison from that cake, mix it with honey, and put it in the vases. Wait a minute. Oh, my revenge will be sweet, Hornet Man! Ready to take the vases and hurry to Adam. 
crazy bastards. All of them. Here's your vases. Just don't eat what's inside. There's honey inside, don't ask why. But I advise you to throw it away. It doesn't look fresh. Yuck, honey reminds me of that wonderful woman, the pastry chef, who rejected me. Just like all the others. In any case, the vases are quite nice. Welcome to my home. Um, thanks. It's lovely. It's lovely. Oh. Aha. Can I take all of his shit? Take these out. Take these out. You'll be good. You'll be good. No. No, you'll be good. Stop. Stop. You'll be good. No, you you stop. You'll be good. <clears throat> uh, I don't want the rest of his shit. At all. I don't. I really don't. Nope. You can keep it. I just want your keys. Can you stop, sir? Stop. No. No mine. No. No. Ma. 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 Moo. Ma. Ma. <laughs> Kiva, I need you to stop. Be good kitty. Stop and be good, kitty. Just, just stop and stay. Stop and stay. Okay, so I have the thing now. He did not stop and stay, by the way. He's immediately down there and he's gonna start yelling at me in any second now. Okay. Um, check the area to the right of the waterfall. Right, that was a thing. Um, ask this guy about stuff tomorrow. So we can inform the Marquis of the threat. Interesting. You know what? We'll ask him about Lady Beatrice. Because I can't I can't do that at the moment. So, do you know who this lady is? When I close my eyes I see my brothers. Oh how I miss them despite everything. Um, about Lady Beatrice. Master Alaric, you must know something about Inquisitor Beatrice. She paid me a visit. Beatrice? The council entrusted our affair to Beatrice? It seems they're even crazier than I imagined. What do you mean? What do you know about her? Ever since she appeared several years ago, strange things have been happening. She's had a tremendous career, gathered hundreds of supporters, even including counselors. So what's strange? She's ambitious, smart, and quite beautiful. Not my type, but... Her influence over the Council and the Inquisition has grown too strong. There's a secret behind this, I'm sure of it. Corruption? Bribery? Informal arrangements? No doubt, but that's just common stuff. There's something else at work here. Hmm, mystery. So we need to supply him with more blood. I can do that. Blood. I'm just gonna take all of it because I'm probably gonna keep doing that. Would you like more blood, sir? Corpse blood again. It tastes like marsh blood, although it's better than nothing. Am I supposed to make a bucket of blood? Wait. Oh, he just pays me for the blood. I don't want to keep doing that. Uh, you know what? Let's talk to the Marquis. Let's not talk to the Marquis. <laughs> Wait a second. My teleport ran out. What? what? That was weird. Yeah, my teleport button stopped working for a second there.
Alright. It is just about night, so we're going to go back to the Talking Skull and install the last table. And we're going to talk to Kukul. There we go. So much bouncing around. My tavern has improved. Free service awaits you. Is that, is that enough? Maybe, maybe. Okay, okay. Don't turn white. Take your pickaxe. Uh, thanks. Appreciate it. All right. So now we can uh, we can go turn in the rest of these three items and see what the hell else is happening with this backstory. I I got this ancient clay pot that apparently is not a thing I need to turn in. I'm confused. Here, have an ancient pickaxe. Do you have any idea what I had to do to get this pickaxe? Hmm, no idea. I'm so tired. So very tired. <laughs> Two years later. Oh, fancy. <clears throat> My subjects, we fought for many long years and... and... Citizens, nobody's seen a piece of paper with some writing, no? So there you have it. Pagans and their ancient god are no more. Let their remnants lurk among the swamps. The war is over. I, King Jove, thank you all. You're free. Wait, there's one last thing. We must destroy the ancient bridge. Er, Pont of Lucius. But then, how will we be able to go to the land of the dead? We don't need to. Our way now leads to the Sky Realm of the New God. Okay, could you describe that process? Or, technically? I... Hmm, it's too complicated. I'll describe it in special holy book. So let's destroy the bridge. Who among us is courageous enough? I repeat, who? Whose faith is strong enough? Pfft, bloody quitters. Then look upon me, the new god. I sacrifice this final symbol of the old faith. On three. One, two, who? Three. Uh oh. What did you do? I mean, he broke it. That's what that bridge goes to. I was wondering about that bridge. I didn't recognize it at first. So that's the bridge that's on the beach, or uh, towards the lighthouse, I guess. Haha, <laughs> that was a big mistake. A big mistake. Why do you say that? Oh, sorry. Let's watch some more. But anyway, those guys, Jove and Lucius, they're cool. From nothing, they rose up to become king and pontiff. Yeah, cool, all right. Hmm, you smell like honey. You having a nice rest? Very nearly, I almost ate Dig's poison cake. Oh, he's crazy. Don't pay any attention to him. Yeah, I gathered that. <clears throat> Alright, where are we now? Ouch! Ah! Oh! Ah. Midnight! No more, please, no more! Midnight, raiding party of five, hello! Ouch, that hurts! That hurts! Do it again! <laughs> Good news, Herodric. 
Good news, everyone! Hello, Midnight! How you doing? How was your, how was your game? Today is your final torture session. King Jove ordered you to burn as a heretic. Thank God. I'll warm up at least. This apartment. It's a little cold down here, Lucius. Cool. In any case, I have an offer for you. Rather than throwing you in the fire, I'll let you be bishop and give you anything you could want. Just answer one question. Where's their swamp camp? Swamp camp? I'd rather become barbecue than be your bishop, Lucius. Lucius. So I see. We'll see if your sense of humor helps you tomorrow, Herodric. You know, it's really hard to give voices when I can't remember who's who. And I can't tell who's who. But whatever. I can't remember my own damn voices anyway. <laughs> I'm so sorry I didn't come earlier. They wouldn't let me. I heard you come into them and gave me. I heard you came to them and gave yourself up. But why? A good soldier follows orders, so don't let it trouble you. What's new, Kresvold? Repression, trials, executions, it's the same thing every day. The people are scared. Some have even left the town. And, hmm, walking dead have appeared around our cemeteries. Haha, <laughs> what a glorious new world that we helped to build. Roderick, I... what the hell, I don't want to see you burning on the bonfire. Then you'll just have to close your eyes, Kresvold. Yay, you finally got to play the DLCs. Oh my. The red-eyed man held me here after the great blast. Because I told the keeper something I was forbidden to tell. And what was forbid forbidden to tell the keepers? Er, I forgot. But it doesn't matter. So after that, he buried me and you dug me up. The end. Hmm. The end, you say? Ah. Uh... Oh. But what's all this for? Hang on, hang on. What? <laughs> Hold up. All this effort was towards getting backstory. And he's like, okay, they buried me, you dug me up, the end. End of story. And suddenly I talked to him again, and there's a whole bunch of shit I need to give him. And there's been no ask as to why I need to give him all this stuff. I'm so confused. I am thoroughly confused. And nothing about this obsidian has come up yet. But, alright. Um, so I'm just about done with the game. But there's a whole bunch of uh, side questing and DLC to do. So that's what I'm doing now. I don't think we're done. But I'm so confused. So I got, I got this obsidian, I had to research the obsidian, and I've got the piece of paper that says I researched it. Um, I dug this up at some point, and he's asking for it now. But then I have to give him other stuff? Do I even have sulfur to give? Pretty sure I do. Here, let's save. DLC, honestly, DLC tends to be very confusing, because it tends to be added on to games kind of as an afterthought so they don't always mesh with the main game which is unfortunate all right so i have a sulfur um do i have gold nuggets to give i do i don't remember if it's four or five but whatever And then he wanted a, um, a gold star marble statue. Uh, so let's make polished doodad first. Gold star marble statue. Perfect. Okay. Now why am I giving him these things? Were you gonna tell me about it? So if I go to the NPCs, he doesn't have he doesn't have anything here that tells me why I'm giving him things. All right, I am confuzzled. 
But I'm gonna go give him things because he wants them. Here, I've got things for you. Yeah, it works? Okay. We're learning more, apparently. And finally, concerning the invasion of the Walking Dead, I, King Jove, hereby forbid any anyone from speaking or thinking that it could be because we destroyed the ancient bridge. I decree that you believe it's the new god's wrath because the pagans still live. Burn them all! Burn them all! Traitor, be a good fellow and rep re repent before you die. Well, yes, I do deserve death. I'm a traitor indeed. I doubt I could be with my beloved because of the ancient god. Or, I couldn't be with my beloved because of the ancient god. And then I helped summon the master from the portal. Heresy, the master came down to us from the sky in answer to our prayers. I grow tired. Burn him and let's go home. Wait, Herodric's right. The master appeared from the portal. I saw it myself. Kresvold, stop. How dare. Also, the master rejected all religion. How could he become a god? Heresy? Treason? Gods? Seize, Kresvold. Lucius, your face looks so funny when you yell. Uh-oh. We're flashbanging again. Oh, god. Ah, oh, what happened? I can't see. Who turned off the light? Haradric, stop twitching. I'll cut off your arm instead of the rope. Kresvold, I'm blind. Ha, <laughs> as usual. I rescue him from the fire and he's still not satisfied. Bingo. So, are we going to run or wait around and uh, for them to get their sight back? Interesting. By the way, have you heard of the story about King Jove, Joe the First? No, nope, nope, definitely not. Listen, he ruled a long time, incredibly long. So his impatient heir had to cut off his dad's head. But he was greatly afraid of his dad's resurrection. So he ordered dad's head to be buried separately from his body. Ha! <laughs> An amazing story. What does the machine say? It says, Priestess's ring, and it belongs to the farmer's wife. But she's dead, right? I'll try to talk to the farmer. Anything else? Ha, ah, yes. The priest signet. Uh, the priest signet. The old dig has it. Alright. So I'm still confused about the extra stuff I gotta give him. And those things are not here anymore to give him. Uh, I have a feeling that bugged out a little bit. Maybe those are like things that we gotta do later? That's weird. Definitely bugged though. Alright, so it's green day. We got another day before I can go talk to the Inquisitor and ask about the uh, the saucy new Inquisitor lady. Um Yeah. Oh, use the Witcher's eye to check the area to the right of the waterfall. Where's the waterfall? Are we talking about the one that's over here? Ah, probably up here then. But let's uh, see if it works. Nope, oh, all the wrong buttons. All the wrong buttons. Uh, Witcher's Eye, cannot use, okay. So I guess I'm gonna have to go up that way. Pardon me, pardon me. Up here, oh, right. Looks like the place. They were here, the young astrologer and the fourth keeper. The eye is trembling. Why am I thinking about unicorns? Why are you thinking about unicorns? Oh. Then keeper tried to catch a moth. I could see myself doing that, but he caught a huge hornet. Uh-oh. Interesting. 
Because unicorns are awesome, of course. They were playing dice right here. Keeper was cheating, and Astrologer lost his shirt, and his pants, and his underwear. Oh my. So it was that kind of game, I see. They lit a fire and fried a fish. Hmm, I've never heard of a poisonous fish around here. Then Keeper made a cocktail, mixing four types of alcohol in one flask. Oh my god. Oh, now we got another one down here. There's Keeper and Astrologer daring each other to drink their hellish cocktail. Here they are singing serenades and embracing each other. Oh my. Under the bee's nest. It wasn't vampires, it was bees. That's where the astrologer vomited. Twice. Ew. Alright, so it wasn't the bee. It wasn't the bees. Then Keeper knocked the flask over, then fell over himself, and... Wait... There. Four vampires attacked them right the here. Some sort of magic turned them into jawbones. And bingo. One of those jaws is still here on the ground. Nice. Looks like that's it. But I can't stop thinking about naked, raven-haired women riding unicorns. Don't blame you. Uh, I don't understand. I think the Witch Clotho could disenchant this jawbone for me. So, Pine was right. It is the little fake plastic vampire teeth. <laughs> I am not walking to the witch's land. Clotho, I have a jaw. I'd like you to turn it into a vampire. Why, certainly, sweetie. Open your mouth. Stop! I meant the other jaw. This is an enchanted vampire, and I need you to disenchant it. Oh, that's even easier. Let me see. Hmm, interesting. Its aura is so bright. I'm afraid I can't dispel such powerful magic, my boy. I'm sorry. Ah, I was really counting on you. you sure, are you sure there's nothing we can do here? Hmm, well, of course, you could always try one thing. A memory tincture. Great, I'd be really grateful. I must warn you, one of your predecessors, the third keeper, used memory tincture several times. He told me it's unstable, unreliable, and has several side effects. If there's any hope it'll work, it's worth trying. By the way, you'll need some memory powder for preparing the tincture. Here's a pinch. If you need any more, you're welcome to it. It's 20 years past its expiration date. Oh, and one more thing. If you meet that lovely woman who purchased the, a recipe for the emulsion of death, please remind her that she has forgot to take her change. Okay, thanks, Clotho. That was weird. Um, I'm assuming that's the the lady, the Inquisitor lady. But you never know. And we save once more because I don't trust this game anymore. Alright, so uh, I'm assuming I'm going down to Alchemy to prepare. Trust nothing. I 
Alright, what am I preparing and where am I preparing it? Oh, also, he maybe we'll give him a bucket of blood. Let's give him a bucket of blood. He wanted it. Uh, what am I preparing? Where am I preparing it? I shall save Valuna. I shall. Wow, that is the worst sorting I have ever seen. Energy potion, black paint, spices, zombie juice, red paint, growth enhancer, white paint, heal potion, yellow paint, dark elixir. There is no order to these. And two different recipes for black paint. Three recipes for black paint. Wow, that's awful. Um... Memory tincture recipe. Yes. Create memory tincture. Unstable, unreliable, unbearable. Spray it in both eyes. Great. Lovely. Where am I making this thing? Right here. Perfect. <laughs> if your bookshelves are worse than that sorting, I, I fear for you, man. Can't we save? Because Valuna says so. We done saving. Alright, so am I using this memory tincture? And now, spray it into both eyes. Jesus! Ah, it burns! <laughs> ah, my eyes, it's worse than shepherd's garlic! <laughs> Nothing. Well, Clotho warned me. Let's try one more time. Damn tincture. What? Wait, do I have to make an... I have to make another one. Okay. They did give me three memory, so... That's fine. <laughs> Just piles on the floor. Alright. One more try. Spritzy, spritzy. Ah! <laughs> Nothing again. I... I don't... I don't remember a scene like that. It's been a while since I've seen IT crowd. Why was there tincture related things in the IT crowd? Right, uh, I need silver nuggets ground up. Uh, you know what? I'm going to ground up another uh, gold nugget while I'm here. Alright, one more tincture. Let's do it. Spritzy, spritzy. Ah! Nothing again. Wait, what the hell is happening? Oh. You're late. Do you require another lesson in respect, you miserable worms? Not our fault, mistress. The town is much less friendly to vampires these days. The Order of Undead Hunters patrols the night streets with nets to catch bats. Yeah, it's a blessing we managed to make it here at all. You useless nobodies. Your endless silly excuses. That's all I ever get from you. Have you wrung anything from more from that priest? We've tried everything, mistri mistress, but Alaric is incredibly resilient. Pain, cold, hunger, thirst, nothing works. Then use bloodthirst, you mindless fools. You mean we should turn him? But 
It's an awful sin, and it will be done, mistress. The poof. She poofed. I do not remember that. Oh no, my eyes. It's like I've been staring at the sun for an hour. But I've learned something new. I must learn more about that woman. They mentioned the Order of Undead Hunters, so maybe Shepard knows about her. And, of course, Alaric might remember something. Oh, there's so much going on. I didn't remember that Shepard was an actual vampire hunter man, though. Interesting. Uh, so let's go talk to Alaric, because it's night and I can't talk to Shepard. Um, hmm, hang on. We're safe. And then... And then... We talk to Mr. Man. And I got a bucket of blood for you in case you want it. What about this mysterious woman? I have some new information, Master Alark, about the vampires who kidnapped you. There was a woman who ordered them to do it, and to turn you into a vampire. A woman in black and gold cloak. Have you ever heard of anything about her? Dot dot dot. I would have remembered if the kidnappers mentioned her, but they didn't. They mentioned ghouls a lot. They said they'd feed me to them if I kept quiet. How foolish. Every adult knows that ghouls don't exist. I think that woman might be the key to our mystery. Sorry, I can't help you. But, listen, why do you smell so strange? The thing is, when Lady Beatrice visited me, she... It, it doesn't matter. She sprayed her... She sprayed her scent all over me. It wafted. It's a good thing Teodoro doesn't know what we're doing here. Indeed. Ah, so he gives me a scroll of teleportation if I give him a bucket of blood. That's a hefty price right there. Um, okay, so I do kind of want to talk to Teodoro to see what he has to say about it. But for right now, it's fine. Uh, let's go talking skull. Put this doodad away. All right. So, one of the things I was supposed to get is the thing from Dig. Can I have your signet, sir? Did you already eat my bee poison cake? Was it tasty? Of course, I nearly died of pleasure. Dig, you have a certain trivial thing. The priest signet, it's certainly not very tasty. Do you mind if I take it? Er, actually, it's pretty sweet. Every morning I dip it in honey and lick it. Listen, the whole village is going crazy over your rat races, and I want to get in on it too. The lighthouse keeper has the best racing rats. Bring me one. And I'll find something else to lick. Just don't lick the rat. Just, just don't. Just don't. Alright, so he wants a rat. <laughs> he wants a rat to lick. Um, what was the... What was the other things I was supposed to get? Gary doesn't tell me. Gary doesn't tell me at all. Signet ring from him. Best rat from Lighthouse Keeper. Ah, Farmer's Dead Wife, I need her ring. And there was a third thing, I think, but I don't remember where it was. I do see a dig spot here, which is unrelated, probably. It's a rusty old axe, okay. Um, you know, we're here. Hello? An astonishingly fat woman carrying a crowbar is looking for someone. Her face is crimson with fury and she's breathing heavily. The lighthouse keeper is returning to the lighthouse, singing a funny song. He's carrying a fishing rod and a bucket full of fish. He sees the woman, and she sees him. She rushes towards him. 
He throws down the rod and bucket and runs towards the cliff and leaps from it into the sea. I see. <laughs> no, nope. okay, we can't go that way. So, I'm not entirely sure why we got to see that, but it was amusing. Uh, Lighthouse Keeper Man, are you, are you coming out? You gonna come say hi? There he is. Hello, sir. I need a rat. Again, whatever you suspect me of, I'm not guilty. In fact, today I'm the victim. What what happened? No fish? Some boy from the town was walking past the lighthouse, playing his pipe. And as he left, all my trained rats went away with him. Damn, I really wanted a rat. Kukul sells rats, but don't you tell anyone I told you. Is nothing straightforward in this quest line? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Me, give me my give me my chocolate. Give me. Hang on, I got chocolate in my mouth. Miss Charm swims in crystal clear water. What a magnificent sight. Wagner watches Miss Charm from nearby bushes. Nearly naked, she returns to the beach. Wagner inhales deeply and starts writing an inspired poem. Oh my. So we're going to get a bunch of random saucy details from people's lives now that we've got the thing working. Here's another one. Get, give, give. Nope. Oh, give. There we go. A young astrologer and a gypsy looking uh, quickly kiss each other and then he goes away. The gypsy baron appears. He pushes the woman aside, pulls out a knife, and runs after the astrologer. The young gypsy yells something and points at her belly. Then he rips off her necklace and slaps her. She falls down and cries. You, sir, are a jerk. Alright, so we're gonna have to wait until nightfall then. Oh, we got another one. Lots of swords and armor surround Kukul and Snake who are bargaining violently. A crowd of gypsies comes up armed with knives. Kukul runs away. Snake and the Gypsy Baron shake hands. Snake takes part of the stuff away and the gypsies take the rest. Interesting. That doesn't sound familiar to a story I'm aware of. I'm curious how many of these are lying around because they seem to be scattered everywhere. Kukul puts several pieces of raw meat on the ground and then whistles. An old falcon with a broken wing appears from the bushes. He starts swallowing the pieces of meat. Kukul smiles kindly. Kukul pulls out a sandwich and starts chewing. Before he's done, he throws half his cutlet to the falcon. 
Well, he likes he likes bird. There's another one. Tress was napping beside the fire, surrounded by hundreds of origami paper rabbits. Hmm, this was recent. Tress was already old. Cory and some man from town are watching from a distance. The man looks like a doctor. The doctor leaves. Cory suddenly rushes over to Tress, gathers all the rabbits, and then throws them into the fire. Tress awakens, shouts, and burns his hands, trying to save the rabbits from the fire. Oh no. So Tress is sick. That's unfortunate. Well, I'd have to go and do that. If you hadn't intervened, I'd have that bloodsucker in the next second. Or he would have dealt with you in half a second. Sorry about that. I promise it won't happen again. Good. He didn't stand a chance. You saw how he was so frightened, he went deaf. Um, yes, that's how that happened, definitely. About this mysterious woman. Don't leave your home without a weapon, Keeper. These days we must be on the lookout. Evil is everywhere. No kidding. Tell me, what do you know about a woman in a black and gold cloak? Is she a werewolf? An evil spirit? A rider with a burning skull inside of her head? She might be a vampire. I'm not sure. Then let's go kill her. Dissect her and find out. Well, she was around 30 years ago, but who knows where she is now? Or if she's even alive. Black and gold cloak, you say? Hmm, I remember one fresco. I always admired it when I visited the town cathedral as a child. It was called Master vs. Vampire Queen. And that queen wore a cloak like the one you mentioned. Vampire Queen. Um, that sounds terrifying. Who else might know about this Vampire Queen? Who is so comfortable dealing with the undead? Gary. Of course, Gary might know. Do we have any uh, purple glowy things around Cory's house? Nothing. Nothing. What about the beekeeper? The crazy guy. He's got one. In the center, beekeeper puts up a mannequin portraying Adam with targets on his legs and arms. Beekeeper strikes a gong. Nothing happens. Beekeeper takes the mannequin away and brings in Dig. He's happily licking a honey stick with targets attached to his body. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, beekeeper man, but you're uh, kind of crazy in the bad way. Uh, and Herodric might have something, or the uh, Kresvold might have something. Herodric might also have something. Nothing over here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Alright, let's go back to the beach and hike back up to, uh, uh, Kugel. Let's see if we can buy a rat from him. You there, with the hump. Look here, look at my collection. Stop. It's inspiring to see just hunchbacks walking around. I'm interested in rats. Oh, I see. But all my rats have been sold. It's all thanks to my business partner, Piper. 
He gathered everyone else's rats in the area and sold them to the town zoo. All the rat trainers lined up to give me their money for my rats. And my best rat was sold to uh, the Gypsy Baron. Nothing's ever simple. Also, we're doing ads now. Those ones snuck up on me. Sorry. The Lord Commander and some mountain fort soldiers were here. The Lord passed sentence and they hung someone. Yorick. That's how he died. What the hell? No, they hung two Yorks. York had a twin brother. Gasp! There's two of them. Alright, Gypsy Baron, I need your rat. That's for a good cause. Excuse me, could you lend me your rat? I need it for the race. My rat? Hmm, but I didn't buy it as a rat race, a race rat. Look at him. Have you ever seen such wise eyes or such a clever face? This rat is the chosen one. He'll be the keeper of all the gypsy people's knowledge. One day I will die, and it is my duty to share with this rat all that I know. Okay, I see, I hear you. So how much do you want? Well, now you're talking. One gold and the rat is yours. Fine. Good, good doing business, my friend. Yeah, people just fleecing me for all I've got. Digs over here, okay. So, uh, I don't know if I have information on the third item. But it is Man Day today. Ah, oh, shit. It was Man Day today, and I missed it. I missed it because I was distracted. Dang it. I'm gonna wait till Man Day again. <laughs> oh, I hate when I do that. <laughs> I don't know if I need the astrologer for anything, but we'll go talk to him. And I also need to go talk to the farmer. He doesn't have anything for me. Okay. Alright, so I need to talk to the farmer, but we're going to walk because the farmer's not awake yet. So we might as well, might as well enjoy the sights, see if there's any more purple things to, to look at. Oh, also, I got a rat, so we can give that to Dig. Hey, bud, I got a rat for you. Here's your super rat. Wow, cool rat. Hooray. Here comes my debut. Thank you, my boy. I'll I'll double your take for the next race. Yeah. Excellent. But I also need your signet. What? What signet? Your signet? The signet you like to lick? Lick a signet? Yuck. Thought of that. Oh, dear. Just just give it to me. Take it, of course. I was just going to throw it away in any case. Haha. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's so funny to pretend to be a psycho. Dot, dot, dot. It's a strange world. The only way any wise man can survive is by pretending to be a psycho. Oh. So he's just pretending. I see. Or is he pretending to pretend? Hmm. Alright, so I got the signet ring. I don't think I have anything else. Signet ring, and we're hopefully about to go get the ring from the farmer, but he's probably going to ask me to go on some lengthy side quest as well. 
because of course he would. Just got word that the um, the cursed voodoo doll for Phasmo's um, plush order is fully funded, but uh, won't ship until like July, so never mind. A small boy draws smiling faces in soil. Two inquisitors approach him and say something. He runs into his house. Farmer leaves his home and starts arguing loudly with his visitors. They point to the nearby window from time to time. In the end, Farmer grabs a pitchfork and confronts them. The Inquisitors quickly leave. A pale and thin woman appears in the door. She looks gravely ill. Farmer embraces her gently, calms her, and leads her back inside. Aww. About your wife that was probably sick. Hey, I don't like seeing your smelly beard here every day. Just one question and I'll stop bothering you. Ask faster, I'm missing my work. About your wife, do you know? None of your damn business. Lay off and stay away from me. You hear me? Stay away. Why did he grow so pale? Maybe his son will be more talkative. I mean, he is asking about your dead wife. You, you can't expect him to take that too well. <clears throat> So about your mother, kid. It seems like father's mood today is even worse than usual. I asked him about your mother and he became strangely upset. He loved mom so much. She was so beautiful and kind. But she was weak. She was often sick and sometimes fainted. It was heart-wrenching when she died. Father has been grieving ever since. I see. Hmm. His uncle, the Miller, must know more. Alright. Is that the, the grave that's buried up here? Is that is that the grave, the one that I fixed up? No. Bishop knocks on Miller's door. Two quick knocks, a pause, three slow knocks, a pause, two more quick knocks. After that, he leaves a small bag of gold in front of the door, then goes to wait around the corner. Miller comes out, counts the gold, and takes it, leaving a bottle of whiskey in its place. Bishop examines the bottle, puts, on its head, uh, puts it on his head, covers it with his hat, and walks away. Ah, let's see. So, about the farmer's wife. Your sister, I presume? Hello, want to complete with, compete with my rats? You're welcome to try. Um, no. Could you tell me something about your brother's wife? Oh, brother's wife, not sister. Got it. Well, she was a healer, an amazing healer, and an amazing beauty. My brother fell in love with her after she saved his life. Because of her incredible skills, people sometimes said she was a witch. Hmm, you should ask Clotho in the swamp. She might know more. Of course. Why Why would this be an easy task? Fine. We'll go over there. Do you have a purple thing for me to look at? No, doesn't look like it. Um. Oh. I didn't know we needed to buy more. Maybe. About the farmer's wife. Clotho, did you know her? Hmm. Maybe you could pay me one little compliment first. I've been so lonely in the swamp. Oh. Okay. Clotho, your chin is so... attractive. All three of them. Oh my dear, you're so cute. Alright, listen. I knew the farmer's wife better than any other. Bella was my sister, along with Jane. They both left me here and moved to the village. Both even got married. 
Bella overused her magic in curing people and in bearing a son and daughter. We are immortal, but using magic saps our health. Bella lost her health and died. What about you? You also use magic. I take a cure. It damages my memory, but saves me. That's a sad story. I've heard enough. It's time I return to the farmer. I see. Farmer. So, about this Bella. I already, already asked you to lay off. What more do you want? I just want to say that I sympathize with you and your loss. Your wife was an amazing woman, her death a real tragedy. You know, the Inquisitors once spoke of burning her as a witch. By then she was sick a lot, so I asked her to stop curing people. But she said, so many people can be sa saved in exchange for one life. He's crying. Better leave him alone for a bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, you dredging up old memories. Okay, now it's time to talk to him again. <laughs> She used her magic to bear the daughter she always dreamed of, and it killed her. I know. Listen, I need your wife's ring. Could you sell it to me? Wow, what a heartless bastard. She had two identical rings. One is in her grave in the field. The other is the only thing that she left with me. Um. Okay, don't sell it. I have an idea. <laughs> Are we grave robbing? Is that what's happening here? Are we grave robbing? Looks like we're grave robbing. Alright, I need to go get exhumed permissions. Don't worry, I'll put her back the way I found her. I just gotta get the ring. I should probably stop and do a save first. I forgot I had done this before and then I totally forgot about it. Let's do more nails. That was that was not the nail button. sleep for both save and energy. So we get exhumed permissions.
and then we go to the miller. Oh, I suppose she probably had it on her. Uh, so let's go back home. And we do a little bit of a a little bit of a slice and dice. See if we can pull this uh, ring out of here. Yep, there it is. Lovely. And I'm going to leave all your parts and bits intact. I'm going to put you right back. shouldn't try to show this to him, but I'm a little bit curious. Uh, church though. We got church. Hydration? That's probably a good idea. Kitty's being weird. So he's got nothing for me. So we do a sermon. Yep, kitty's being weird. I just I'm hearing I'm hearing kitty foot tramples all upstairs. Probably in zoomy mode. So, Gizmo likes to see things outside. So he, he goes to the window and if he sees something that's outside, he will start going to every single window in the house at full speed trying to get a better look at whatever, is, whatever he saw outside. Sometimes it's a squirrel or a rabbit, sometimes it's a neighborhood cat that's passing by, sometimes it's a ghost, I don't know, I've never seen sometimes when he's freaking out. Um, so yeah, he's he's in his uh, window to window zoomy mode right now. Okay, so I have two of the things. I guess we, let's go to Gary. Let's, let's talk to him. Here's the priestess's ring. Listen, the farmer's wife is Bella. Bella? Clotho and Jane's priestess sister? Exactly. Here's her ring. Let's plug it in. Clotho, sister, let's go home. We'll talk and then we'll get you a sedative. We've betrayed our god, Bella, and we must be punished, all of us. Clotho, killing a thousand people at once is a bad idea. It sure is. That's why I read the spell three times, so we'll kill three thousand at once. That's the spirit. Everything is ready. Time for the Necronomicon. Um... Yeah, what she said. Oh. What? My lord, did I misread the page? My former priestess, how dare you trouble me? No, it... 
I, it wasn't me. I, I'd never. Arr, Tigus tricked me. This ritual is supposed to kill our foes. She is right, ancient god. I switched the ritual so I might speak to you. Listen to me. You're our last hope. The ancient bridge is destroyed. Our dead remain here as zombies. They're killing people, and nobody can stop the madness. This no longer concerns me, mortal. Really? Soon there won't be anybody left to pray to you, and you'll vanish. You already grow weak, otherwise you could have resi resisted my ritual. Besides, your eye is twitching. <laughs> Interesting. Do you want to keep watching? I feel like this thing is mocking me. Where am I? Where, where am I in these images of the past? Maybe it's broke? Maybe. Or maybe I have no past and that grave somehow gave birth to me. Blah, blah. Nothing useful. Ah! There's still hope. The list isn't complete yet. Pfft, I'm running out of patience. Well, we'll do another one. Rat races. The whole village has gone crazy over them. Too bad nobody takes bets from taking from talking skulls. This is a whole lot of backstory exposition going on in this DLC. The contract is ready. When you sign it, this world will be bound by it. If the contract is violated, the ancient curse will return. We are ready. Then begin as we rehearsed. Peace, not war. Faith, not heresy. Oops, sorry, he's mute. Freedom, not prisons. Forgiveness, not revenge. Hope, not despair. And the ships of the dead, not walking dead. The guarantor of the contract is the graveyard keeper. All signers are immortal as long as the contract is valid. And the last one, the truly guilty men, will be punished. Their lost souls will be bound to the dying, their dying flesh forever. Well, what? That's a strange contract. Oh, I don't envy those truly guilty men. And you'll have to rebuild the village again. But remember about fire safety. Father, you make it sound like you're leaving. Religious conflicts, bloodthirsty priestesses, and red-eyed gods are too much at my age. Plus, there's still so many sweets I must try. And then he spends his last remaining days insane licking honey off of things. Damn that red-eyed bastard. I knew it. I knew. But I don't understand. Why? Why? Gary, calm down. What are you... Jove, he became like a walking corpse because of these scum. Eternally rotting flesh, the hellish pain, it was their punishment. Jove couldn't even kill himself, he could only drink. Are you Jove? Gary, Gary, I can't. Ha ha ha, what a perfect joke. Jove's son actually helped him when he cut off his head. Dot, dot, dot. I'm so tired. It's too hard. Let's try one last time. Are you sure? Yes, a brick from the church. Go, please. Well, all right then. Bridge, a brick from the church. We could do that. Now I messed up my. There we go. All right. Where does one go about pulling a brick out of a fancy brand new church I made? I would like a brick, please. One brick. Oh. Right there. Got it. Perfect. Here's your brick. Dot, dot, dot. 
<laughs> he doesn't even want to talk to me anymore. He just wants to go straight to the thing. The first keeper is about to arrive, but we're running out of marble. The beams are wobbly. Half the brigade is uh, off drinking, and Kresvold hasn't delivered the nails. Chain? Er, I'm sorry to trouble you, Herodric, but... Bella and I, could we settle beside the village? Of course. And Clotho? Clotho, she's ill. Mentally ill. She'd better stay away in the swamp. Thank you, and goodbye. Stock, stock, stock. Chain, wait a minute, please. I haven't thank you. For what? I don't understand. The stone Kresvold used to blind the guards during the execution. It was your magic stone. You rescued me. Sorry, Haradric, I really need to go. I'll never forgive myself, Chain. We've done too many terrible things. But now eternity awaits us. Maybe we can try to fix what can be fixed together? Aww. We reached out with a little olive branch. Enough. Now find a big club and smash this machine. Er, Gary, could you at least explain one thing? You still don't understand? Okay. I am Jove. But I helped people. I gave them a future. I avenged the master. The bridge. It was Lucius's idea. Why did they punish me? Dot, dot, dot. Maybe the machine will give us an answer? No chance. There aren't any more artifacts on the list. Yes, but... Um, well, there's one more ancient thing we could use. Really? And what's that? A magical skull. Hmm, I didn't know you had a... Dot, dot, dot. You've got to be kidding. No way, no way. Why not? There's no other way to learn that. There's no other way to learn the truth. Dot, dot, dot. Get on in there, Gary. We're learning. Five years before the ancient contract. Jove, are you sure it's the right time? Yes, Lucius. The whole town is his domain. His work is done. We don't need him more. We don't need him anymore? Whatever. Hmm. Our poor master is running late. He must have found out. He'll come for... And he'll come here with guards. Our merciful master will come to arrest us? Meh. What nonsense. What if he doesn't come at all? Oh, he'll come. He must do everything that we asked for the, the portal for. Have you forgotten? We asked it for the power to rule people. Has the time come? The time is now. Do you know what awaits? I know everything that has happened and will happen. I'm sorry, Master. I'm sorry too, your majesty. Do it, guys. Don't say anything, please. Holy sar, not remembering was such a great gift. Dot dot dot. Er, Gary? Dot dot dot. Gary! Dot dot dot. Gary, are you still alive? Bep. Don't you think that's a strange question to be asking a skull? By the way, I remember something interesting. After this war, Lucius and I stole part of the royal treasure and buried it somewhere nearby. In case of rebellion. Well, then we definitely need to check it out. Hmm, why not? Yeah, you just be your usual self, Gary. Don't worry about the fact that you, you know, 
tried to destroy and then rule the world. Don't worry about that part. Alright, so I have a quest to talk to him about the lady. But it's not letting me do that, so I suspect I can't talk to this Gary. I might need to talk to the Gary that's in the basement. The other, the other basement. Um, they might not have the same dialogue options. Alright, so where is this thing? Unearth a chest near the new tavern. So I guess I just gotta wander around, look for it. We got a diggy spot over here. And there it is. It was a new diggy spot, so. Oh my, look at all this gold and, and... I can't believe it. Elite wine, 200 years old. Thanks to all the gods, ancient and new. All my sufferings have been rewarded. 200 years old? Huh, can I taste it? Of course not. It belongs to King Jove, and that's me, so it belongs to me. But I'll graciously allow you to take the gold. You're so generous, your majesty. See you in the old cellar. Oh, life is so wonderful. All right, all right. How much did I get? I got 10 gold out of that. Nice. So, I think that's the end of that quest line. Let's put the rest of the thingies up here. I think there's just a brick to put up here. Nope, there's multiple thingies. We got a ring. Got a different ring. And we got a brick. Ah. Achievement unlocked. Epic skull. I have been getting achievements left and right here. Um, there, there's lots and lots of achievements going through. That's for tavern quality 80 plus, so apparently that's a uh, top tier. But I think we're done with the tavern. Well, that's nice. Alright, so let's go home and let's do a savey save. Now, let's go to the basement, or the, the morgue, I guess. If he's got any follow-up for me, and see if we can talk to him about the lady. Yes, the Vampire Queen. Gary, have you ever met a woman in a black and gold cloak? That's a pretty funny question to ask a guy with amnesia. Hey, you don't have amnesia anymore. Partial amnesia. So, have you heard anything about the Vampire Queen? Sure, I've heard some things. In fact, that was the Lighthouse Keeper's ex-wife's nickname when they played private games at home. Oh. I see. <laughs> oh, I see. Gary, please stop making jokes. This is serious. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong guy. There are only two reliable sources of hard facts. Town housewives and ghosts. Like, can't reach town, Gary. Then come back tomorrow, and meanwhile, I'll chat up the local ghosts, but I'll have you know, this is skull exploitation. By the way, what's with the new smell? Is it clothes? Disgusting. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got sprayed. I got sprayed by the lady. Alright, we good? We good, okay. So he's going to chat up the local ghosts, which means I don't need to chat up the local ghosts. So, uh, in the meantime, uh, I need to come to back to him tomorrow. I need to talk to the Inquisitor, uh, which is going to be in a few days. Um, we do need to do the first healing session for Yurik. And at some point I should talk to Theodore. But, let's do the first healing session. Are you ready? Yurk, I charge the shard. Nice. Let's go already. I can't wait for the first procedure. Well, you ready? Yes, but I'm a little nervous. Get strapped in, sir. Make sure you're comfy. Let's start. Pizzap. How do you feel? Is everything alright? 
I think I'm fine. My head is spinning and I'm tingly all over. I need some rest. Yurik, do you remember what you promised to give me? Yes, I remember. Here, take it. Aha! Souls. Extract souls from bodies so they won't waste away in this mortal world. Um, heal a soul of sin with the aid of high quality organs. Send a soul back home where it belongs and receive gratitude points. Use gratitude points for crafting in various zones, but don't forget to build soul receivers in the zones first. Ah. Okay. Build workbenches in souls rooms to increase gra um, gratitude capacity. Okay. So, apparently... If I crafted soul receivers in various locations, I get gratitude points for just crafting generically in those zones, which would have been great if I had been prepared for that. Now this is an interesting new view. Up. Yeah, this is an interesting new view of being able to see what they're doing and what their percentages and stuff are. That's oh, fascinating. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. All right. Visit Yurik in a day. All right. So we can do that. Uh, let's see. Soul containers, wall crematorium. That's all done. So do we need to build a soul receiver in each location? I can do that. Um, sure, let's uh, slap a soul receiver right there. It's just random soul receiver. All right, let's do it. Let's uh, make as many as we can. I don't think it matters, and I don't know if I need it for anything, but we're doing it. Uh, right there. That's a good spot for it. So yeah, basically each little crafting zone can have a soul receiver. I'm gonna need more simple parts. Everything else I've got zillions of. Uh, you can you can go. You you can go. More simple parts. All right, the best place to put a solar receiver here is right in front of the toilet. Howdy, kinder. Welcome back. I wonder if we can do a soul receiver in the um, in the church graveyard and in the church even. No. Interesting. All right. No spoilers, kinder. I know you want to share, but it sounds interesting, so I think I might want to read it. 
Where does this thing go? Oh, I'm trying not to put it in a place that will mess with stuff. And let's uh, slap it right there. Uh, we can also go to the quarry and build one up here. In front of the toilet. Uh, we can go to the talking skull and we can build one here. <coughs> Apparently we can't build one here. Alright then. How about the basement? Yeah, okay. So we can build one of these here and you can go... Ah, right there. Lovely. Alright, I think that's all the soul receivers that we can do. Let's go home and sleep again to save that. Refugee camp. Ah. Right. I can't do that up here. I need to bring the items with me. Plank and... Conical flask. I don't remember if it's regular or advanced, so we're just going to bring one of each. Lovely. Okay. So where's the marquee? I think he's already gone to bed for the night. Dang it. Fine. You, sir. Nothing. All right. We sleep again. Now, it says supply him with blood. Um, it doesn't say how often or how much. But the option seems to be always there. So I'm curious if that's just a give him blood, get paid for it kind of situation, or if there's like a limit that we're supposed to do and I'm not, I'm not reaching that limit yet. But uh, it's, it's definitely curious. All right. Um, so in terms of things left to do, I still have Yurik's thing to do, and I have the vampire thing to do. I think those are my only remaining chains to work on, is the vampire chain, including Lady Beatrice's mystery, as well as Yurik healing his soul and whatnot. Oh yeah, you got your Lovecraft collection. I've been meaning to listen to the audiobook that I've got of that. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Maybe I'll do that next after my current one.
All right, we're passing some time. Gary, what you got for me? Did the ghost tell you anything? Of course. One ghost named William visited a couple students and told them that their uncles killed their fathers. Wait, what? Yes, that's incredibly important, isn't it? Is that it? Almost. About the black and gold cloak, they remembered one ghost weirdo from the dungeon. He came around only once, back before the Great Blast. He was search. He was in. Uh, he was in search for the same woman. She had taken his leg and wouldn't give it back. Oh, well, that's better than nothing. So where can I find this weirdo? He had a lisp, so he must be from the eighth floor. Don't ask why. And and if you want him to appear, you need a special amulet. Hmm. So how do I get this amulet? Well, you can make one of human intestines, some wax, and, oh yeah, the hair of a donkey communist. Yes, yes, just don't ask why. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, the donkey communist comes back. Oh, yeah, that, uh, that statue looks neat. Looks familiar. Nope, not that button. Nope. There we go. Alright, and then we can go talk to Yurik, who should be ready for the next round. Oh, or he wrote me a note. Greetings, Keeper. I'm feeling much better today. If you're looking for me, I'm visiting the most interesting place in the village. You'll find me there, Yurik. Looks like someone decided to visit the tavern. <laughs> Isn't it a bit early for him to go out? It's probably still dangerous. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very interesting, Yurik. You're making a lot of friends from the town, aren't you? Yes, he's a fine fellow. He found a lovely place for me right under the morgue. It's thanks to him that I live down there. I'm very happy for you, Mr. Yurik. It's also good to hear that the Keeper cares for people other than himself. I'm right here, guys. If you ever visit the village again, come visit us. These days, we're sorely lacking in refined company like yours. I was right here. Ask about graveyard keepers. Roderick, I'd like to know about, more about the previous graveyard keepers, and I know you're immortal, so just tell me. Well, the first keeper appeared more than 200 years ago. He was young, romantic, a dreamer, an incredible idler. He'd spend whole days writing poems, painting landscapes, and playing his mouth organ. <laughs> mouth organ. Sometimes the villagers had to bury their deceased instead of him. That's all I know, or all I've read about him. Good morning, Ace. Roderick, tell me more. Oh. Crap. Alright, looks like we're going through this again. I was expecting to have a second keeper information not the first one again. Oh, things is good. Getting close to the end of this game. So you think, yeah. It seems like I'm close to the end.
All right, um, I need to go to the morgue down here. Howdy, Draconi. Oh, hello, ghosts. Ghost and skull. I don't know what you're doing here, but it was nice and quiet before you arrived. Now with all the clanging and noises and giggling, I was just peacefully sitting here drinking beer and suddenly it vanished. What do you want from me? I can't see that I'm half transparent. What's going on here, Gary? Ha, ah, you run on it too? Gary, we're... Oh, I know another way you can make some noise. You can break bottles full of beer. Let him soak up that lovely sound. Hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Smiler, stop it. Gary, I was meaning to tell you, most of the noise came from repairing all the mechanisms. I assure you, there won't be any, won't be any more noises like that. To your promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Okay, but if something happens, you owe me as much booze as I want. Dude, you're... You run the tavern with me. You can have as much booze as you want. This isn't a problem. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so you're useless, great. About the next two shards. I think we're ready to start looking for people with sins to charge the other shards. What? Really? That's wonderful. I'm one step closer to fulfilling my dream. So, tell me, what do we have next? Well, the new sins are wrath and gluttony. Okay, good. I need to check the notes. Wait while a man reads the book. Yes, there's something here. Let's discuss it. I have an idea who might be the most wrathful person in the village. Kresvold, probably. And... Inquisitor. Yeah, that makes sense. It could be the Inquisitor. He has such a short temper. It's probably him. A short temper, you say? So listen, what does he hate most of all? Well, witches, the occult, and all that sort of stuff. He likes to burn everything in a giant fire. Witches, witches, fire. Aha! At some hearings in the town, I overheard that witches sometimes collect the ash of other witches for use in their occult rites. We could check if that's true or not. I have an idea, but it might be a little much for you. Basically, we should find the ashes of a witch that this Inquisitor burned and bring this ash to the Inquisitor. It doesn't sound like that should be any trouble. I know a witch who might have some. Oh, marvelous. Then go. But, what's going to happen? The gluttony. Yes. Gluttony. That's when... Usually it's when one person eats for two. Eats for two. Maybe I should go visit the merchant and try my luck? The merchant. Do you mean the one from the town in the yellow and orange clothes? Yep, that's him. Haha, <laughs> yes, that's definitely our man. He's so obvious, but tricky too. It's obvious because we know how to get him. Food. But it's a challenge because he has such high standards. That's why we'll need an unusual approach. Perhaps you should focus not on food itself, but on something that can be served with food? What do you mean? Say, like, sauce served with a dish. Something that will slightly enhance the taste. I know one alchemy master. I could talk to him about it. Good idea. I like it. Let's hope this works. Oh, and he's gone. And he's gone. <laughs> Gives them all you. Go get more treats. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. 
What? What do you want? He's looking at me. What do you want? What? <laughs> He's being adorable. He's being adorable. And he's not nearly as loud as Gila when he wants something. I do need a gizmo emote. We'll have to see about that. I think I think there is one that I can get. Okay. I'm I'm kind of thinking along the lines of like the the Puss in Boots big black puppy dog eyes. Because uh, he, he does that to me a lot. Alright, we'll save. What's next? Still waiting for Inquisitor's Day. A couple more days out. <laughs> so that's why that mat keeps moving. I could never quite tell why it was moving. <laughs> He's, he's being weird. True, he, he did... He hasn't done the tapping my arm thing in a while. So now it is green day, nothing remarkable to do here. Let's go ahead and do a sleep. Alrighty, kinder, enjoy your lurking. sleep all the way to Inquisitor's Day and I'm just gonna talk to him. I've been I've been waiting to talk to him for a while now. Cause I keep forgetting about his damn day, so we're just gonna dedicate this moment to him. Exciting enough for him. Okay, it says now Inquisitor's Day, and we save just to be sure. Oh, and the ads are happening right now. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's pause for a moment for ads, and I'll see if I can appease the kitty.
fun. Okay. So ads are just about done, so we can go ahead and head to the Inquisitor Man. You know a Lady Beatrice? Pff, of course I've heard. I've heard about her all the time in recent years. The other counselors are crazy about her. They say she's our pride. The future of the Inquisition. It sounds like you don't like her. The girl's looks and smiles don't work on me. I see the truth. Oh, Monsignor, your wisdom never ceases to amaze me. So what is the truth? This is monstrous, I know, but I'm afraid her faith isn't as firm as, and fanatical as it ought to be, as it must be. Um, okay. Hmm, wait, what's that strange smell? Uh, it's a long story. So everyone comments on the smell. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So we save E. And I think I might need to call it here. Oh, uh, I think we have, I think we basically have one stream left. Possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we can try to push through the time dilation problems. Because, yeah, we're running into a situation right now where we're waiting for specific days, and that's about it. Gotta go talk to Clotho to get the, the ash and the sauce for the merchant. We gotta go talk to the merchant on Merchant Day. Um, and then we gotta go talk to... Oh! Which is Ash? Clotho. Today. Merchant. No, uh, today. We're not, we're not ending right now. We have a thing to do quick. I forgot. We need to talk to the Inquisitor. The Ash. Oh, and we can get information about other graveyard keepers. We'll have to do that later. Ash. Uh, have you come to visit your old friend? Uh, yes, Clotho. Could you please do me a favor? Anything for you, my dear. I need some witch's ash for my alchemy experiments. Could you give me some? I don't have much of it left nowadays. Not easy to collect as it used to be. But for you, sweetie, I can spare a little. Just bring me a couple jars of honey. No problem. I have zillions. Uh, let's also ask about the sauce while we're here. <laughs> Back again, handsome? You ready? You finally ready for that date? Uh, no, Clotho. Uh, nothing would make me happier, but I have so much to do. Can we do it later? Ah, oh, don't sweat so hard, kid. I'm just joking. What can this old woman do for you? I need to ask you something. Uh, about getting to know me better? Dot, dot, dot. I'm joking. Tell me what you need. Do you have a recipe for a potion that enhances the taste of a dish? A gastronomic potion, you say? Hmm, I'll need to look. You'll need to give me a little time. Three, two, one, and there she is. Here you go. There is indeed such a recipe, and it contains quite simple ingredients. But I didn't fancy it myself. You'll have to decide for yourself if you like it or not. Thanks, I'll give it a try. Uh, speaking of which, uh, do we have, forgot that. Uh, she does not have the spice. That's right. I have to make the spice myself. So we're good. Okay. Um, 
let's learn about the graveyard keeper while I'm here. No, you know what? We'll save that for next time. Because um, that's going to be a whole story situation. Uh, but I do want to do the Inquisitor's thing while I'm here. Well, while he's still here. Where's my honey? Where's my honey. Thank you. I've been craving something delicious recently. And I can't just go to the village. Then how do you collect the witch's ash? Every woman has her secrets. Here, take some ash. Well, thanks. Uh, now we go to Witch Hill. Talk to Mr. Man. I fucking need a shard. All right. Uh, let's go to Morgue. <laughs> it's funny when he shows up and there's, there's the other Gary just sitting right there. All right, so let me use a shard. Go back to here. Here's your ash, sir. Monsignor, take a look at this. What's this? I understand that you work with corpses and you may do whatever you like with them. But you shouldn't be bothering me with that sort of thing. I'm not here to bother your excellency. Here, take a look. And what is it? It's witch's ash. They used it in their occult rites. The handkerchief smells like an old witch. Sniff it for yourself. Indeed. Does this mean that I burn witches, purge the world of their unholy power, and then they perform heresy with my own aid? Dot, dot, dot. What am I doing? Monsignor, no one has. So, Keeper, I hope that you are intelligent enough to see that this kind of information must remain top secret. Its disclosure is punishable by death. As you wish, Monsignor. As you wish. Alright, so I wanted to get that out of the way because it was today, his day, and I would have forgotten that if we didn't do it before I came back. Because, um, yeah, my brain don't work. Uh, so, now we sleep. Now we sleep and call it a night. <laughs> Yay, midnight cut Gizmo being cute. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, midnight. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. So we accomplished quite a lot tonight. We finished the entire uh, tavern chain of uh, events. And the whole backstory, learning who Gary is. Gary is the traitorous king. Jove? Probably. Forgot the name. But yes, that's who that's who Gary is, and um, he gets to he gets to wallow in his drunken misery for the rest of his days, knowing who he is now. Um, and then we're we're part way through chasing a vampire, part way through healing a man's soul. I think that's all we got left, so I don't know how much is left. Probably one stream. Probably going to be either next Saturday or Monday, I'm not sure which. And then uh, and then we'll hopefully be done with the game, finally. But it's, it's been an interesting journey so far. So that'll be it for tonight, Kinder, Midnight. Thanks for hanging out. Drac and I, you might still be out there as well. Pine, perhaps. Ace. Whoever else may be lurking out there, I appreciate y'all being there. And, uh, and yeah. Tomorrow is going to be Minecraft, where we are also getting close to being done. Um, in fact, this game, Minecraft, and Grounded are all almost done. So, my schedule is suddenly going to be very free very soon here. And uh, we're going to have to come up some, with some other stuff to play. I have at least one thing in mind specifically, but other than that, um, I'm gonna have to gonna have to come up with some stuff. But uh, we'll we'll figure it out. Plenty of suggestions in Discord. Plenty of things on my to-do list. Plenty of stuff I'm in the progress of working on. So we'll we'll do something. But thank y'all for hanging out tonight. Um, that's all I got. Thank y'all for coming. I'll see you next time. Bye.